Hello everyone, welcome on in. I hope everyone's enjoying their Friday. Finally, it's Friday. <laughs> welcome on in everyone. <laughs> How was everyone's week? I actually, um, there was like no one working today at work. So I got like nothing done because no one could respond to their emails because they weren't working. They weren't there, so it's like, okay, well, 
I can't get anything done, so that's... <laughs> that is how my day went. And it went by fast, so that's nice. And I didn't have to put out any Invernos. Which is also nice. Retain my cool uncle status? Nice, nice, nice. That's always good. Always, always good. Also, let me know if my volume for my microphone and the music is too loud. I feel like lately a lot of my volume has been a bit too high. <laughs> But yes, I am very, very, very excited to finish. Well, technically, we did finish Deathmark. We just got the incorrect ending. <laughs> but last night, um, it only took me 40 minutes to get through um, Chapter 3 all the way through the end game. Which is crazy, but. The Q button and having a guide really makes this game super, super short. <laughs> Which works for me, cause I got stuff to do. <laughs> but yes, I do have the um, good ending, but I ac I'm actually right now running through chapter five like the end of chapter 5 because at the end of chapter 5 they didn't give me an option to save they just threw me right into chapter 6 so I want I want you guys to know <laughs> what happens before I got to that save point because there's like a lot of information that needs to be said <laughs> And I was thinking, oh, maybe I could just show a YouTube video, but at the same time, it's like, no. It won't take long to do this. So, <laughs> that is what I'm doing right now. So if you see me look off to the side, it's because I'm quickly running through the ending of the game. <laughs> also, speaking of Deathmark, um... Hamster actually gifted me Deathmark NG. So we can actually play the second Deathmark game. Um, I also got my copy of Alone in the Dark in. So what I'm thinking... I'm thinking... Um, we're, we might be taking a break from Deathmark just so we can play alone in the dark and from what my understanding is this game is about six hours for each character and there's two characters so i'm thinking maybe we could do next week like tuesday thursday stream so we can get through one character and then the following week, we can go back to Deathmark and then finish up Alone in the Dark that week as well. If that is something you guys would like. Because next week, I'm actually going to be out of town during the weekend. I will for sure be back um, for the Sunday stream, but Friday I won't be here. Is he still dead? Nope, he's not dead. <laughs> He is alive and well. But I swear to God, if he dies in the sixth chapter, we're gonna have some words. <laughs> we're gonna have some words. I still can't believe <laughs> that game would do that to me. I really thought I did something good. <laughs> Alright. Also, um, from my understanding, Deathmark NG 
apparently those chapters are a lot longer than this game's chapters. So we might not be able to um, finish a chapter in one stream. Um, I hope that's okay. I know for the VODs, I'm just gonna combine the streams together, but I hope that's okay. I generally try to like finish episodes and chapters in one stream, but I don't know if I can do that with NG. Um, maybe, maybe, maybe if they're like close to the five or six hour mark, Maybe we can do that, but it would only have to be on Friday, since I can stay up late. But we'll see. We will see. Like, I tried to look up how long the games are, but... When I looked it up for Deathmark, they said like, oh, it's only four hours long, and it's like... Well, when you're saying every line in the game, it really, really extends the time, <laughs> so. Okay, there we go, chapter five, just finished it. All right, get through the epilogue and then we can go to chapter six. <laughs> So sorry, guys. Ooh. Speaking of sorry, I need to, um... I need to see if I can get Hellblade working on my computer for Sunday. I hope I can play it. Because it would be stinky if I couldn't, but... Excuse me. Choking on air. <laughs> but, um... Need to do that for Sunday. There's just so much stuff. <laughs> I've been going... That's a fun game. Oh, you played it, brother? Hello, hamster. Welcome. How are you doing? And again, thank you so much for Deathmark NG. That confused me. I have the Deathmark music playing in my ears and then I just hear that and I'm like, what the hell? What is this? Please! She was alive! He's right here! He's actually- You know what? I'm gonna show you guys right now. He is on the screen. He lived, okay? He's alive. He is alive. <laughs> okay, but let me jump back. Yeah, for some reason, the game wouldn't let me save after the epilogue, so I have to, have to run through it again so I can get to chapter 6, the beginning. But he is alive. There's proof. <laughs> oh. Hope you will like it. I think I will like it. I think, for my understanding, um... Bell said that the chapters are a lot longer, so I think with them being longer, they will flesh out the characters a lot more. So that's really cool. And I accidentally, okay, I didn't accidentally go on the wiki, I went on the wiki. Because after you play Deathmark, you unlock the gallery. And I had like a lot of missing things and I'm like, what images am I missing? So I thought, oh, you know, I'll go on the wiki and be like, hoo hoo, where, where's, where are these images? And then, um, yeah, don't do that. <laughs> don't be me. Okay. And then here's Mary. I'm gonna throw her in the box. Oh yeah, they really left this game kind of on like a cliffhanger. It's pretty much, I have to stop you, but I can't right now. So I'm gonna put you in this box. <laughs> so I'm wondering if we're gonna get more information about Mary in NG. And then, um, I don't know. 
I mean, I saw that a lot of the characters from the first Death Mark, they come back in the second one. So we absolutely, there has to be Mary information in that game. I also looked up um, if that was on sale or not, and it's not. <laughs> but that's okay. You know why? Because Steam will have <laughs> a summer sale sometime in the future. And that's when you can pick it up. Never buy anything at full price. <laughs> Hello, Phoenix. Welcome, welcome. But yes, I really- I am curious. Because I saw some characters, um... Like, some... I, I wouldn't call them demons or anything. I guess it would just be, um... Not monsters. Yokai? Or, I don't know. But, like, I saw some really cool ones, and I'm like, ooh, we're really getting into, like, the, um, folklore. I saw, um, Hanako-chan. Um, I saw the Slipmouth woman with her name. I don't know if that's an NG or if that's a number two, but I did see their names, and I'm like, ooh, I'm really excited. But we shall find out. How are you? I'm doing well. How about yourself? Sorry, I was just... <laughs> I was talking about Deathmark. Also, apparently, in the chapter that we're going to be playing right now... Right now... Apparently, they censored one of the um, graphics in um, the United States. Because if they kept it in the game, this game would be rated AO. And it's like, really? And I was curious. I'm like, well, what could have made this game go up from M to AO? That's a big thing. And I don't think what was censored should... It's, I don't think it's bad. AO, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the adults only. But it's like, how is, how can that image be adults only? I don't understand it. Like, there's so many games that are so much worse. And I'm wondering if it's an image and maybe the sound effects. But like, at the same time, it's like, it's not that bad. I don't think it is. Like, can I find the image? I don't think it's bad. But like, hang on, let's Google. What makes a game rated AO United States? Because I know each like country and stuff um, has different ratings. Because I know Australia is pretty strict. Like, I think Silent Hill Homecoming is still banned there. And then I know in Japan, if there's decapitation in games, that's bumped up to AO. But here is... Uh, titles rated adult only have content that should only be played by persons 18 years and older. That's pretty much M. <laughs> titles in this category may include prolonged scenes of intense violence or graphic sexual content and nudity. Which... Doesn't, like, the only thing I can think of is that sexual content, but it's not prolonged. So, I'm just curious. That's, I don't know. I'm going to look up the image right now. <laughs> All right, death mark. Might accidentally get spoiled because it's in this chapter. Spider... Da, 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 da. Oh, spoiler, I just said it. Okay, here it is. I don't think it's... I don't know. Give me... Can I get, like, a decent... In okay, here it is. But yes, um, let me 
Um, if you don't like insects or bugs, um, look away. <laughs> because I'm going to show the image on screen. Um, so, look away, look away. <laughs> I'm gonna, what's this? Is that my sensor? No, that's not. Is this my sensor? That's my sensor. <laughs> okay. Not my marquee plier. There it is. There it is. Blink. Okay, where is it? Why isn't it showing? Okay, hang on. Sorry, guys. <laughs> To skip dialogue. Oh yeah, I've been using Q. When I was um, <laughs> when I was running through the um game again, I was clicking Q. You can just hold the Q button, and it skips. And it's like, wow, I almost broke my wrist, <laughs> but I did it. Hello, Wolf. Welcome, welcome. Okay, let me get this all. Hello, Cope. Welcome, welcome. And real hello. Um, I'm gonna, since more people came in, um, oh, shit, fuck! Okay, since more people are in, um, I'm going to show the image that was censored in this game, because this image would have made this game adults only. So, yes, um, if you don't like insects, look away. Look away. And then I'll tell you when you can. <laughs> Finally caught you online and I'm not sleepy yet. Yay! Just spent six hours driving around visiting retro video game stores. That's nice. That is always fun to do. Yeah, I, I'm saying insects. Incest, insects. Th they sound different when I say it. Okay. It's just a building. No, it's actually this. This image is what would have made this game adults only. And I don't think... I don't think it's that bad. I don't know. I've, I've seen worse in games that are rated M. You know? Hello, Tigger. Welcome, welcome. And hello, Mickey. <laughs> the more you say look away, the more I want to look. <laughs> yep, that's from the DLC. That's chapter six. We're doing that right now. It's not that bad. Exactly. Exactly. And it's like, why would that make the game adults only? Like, we get a censored version, and I'm like, it's not that bad. I've seen worse in M-rated games. So, I, I don't make the ratings, though. Rating people are weird. It, yeah, I mean, if you think about it, um, Night Trap was the whole reason we got the rating system in. And that was, like, rated M for Mature because of a bathroom scene, and it's like, it's not that bad. She's just in the bathroom, like putting on makeup or taking makeup off, and then the people are like, e -e -e. spoiler for that game, but that game's like almost 40 years old, so I'm going to spoil it. Have you seen the Alien movies? Yes, I love Alien. It's like one of my favorite movies. <laughs> but I think Twitter was still somewhat calm in the time of this game. Maybe. Yep, Dune and Mortal Kombat. Yep, those guys too. <laughs> Yeah, and, like, the Alien movies were, like, the first one was, like, late 70s, I think. Maybe? Or, no, was that mid-70s? Yeah, I just don't understand. It's, like, it's not that bad. I don't, I don't know. What do I know? What do I know? What do I know? But, like, I, I, I... You know what? In a few years, I bet they'll be like, you know what? We can put this back in the game. The senator at the time that pushed for it recently died. I mean, 40 years is like a long time. Just one image, yeah. And I don't know... Because um, the way it's worded, it's like prolonged violence, sexual content, or... What was the other one? <laughs> Prolonged violence, sexual content, and nudity. So it's prolonged. I don't. 
I don't know. What do I know, guys? Sensors are getting strict nowadays. Are they? I mean, let's look at Baldur's Gate. Let's look at Baldur's Gate, okay? I love that game. Look. Guys. <laughs> There's uncensored sex in that game. So much. That's M. <laughs> I mean, maybe... It's rated M because you could, like, skip the sex scenes and, like, hide the nudity, but why would you do that? Did you play Baldur's Gate on stream? No, I did try to open up Baldur's Gate while I was streaming so I could show my, um, tab and my computer almost exploded. <laughs> but yeah, I think maybe that's why, because it's optional. Like, <laughs> I guess, I don't know. But, like, even then, there's, like, some story stuff that's, like, er. The first speedrun I saw on Boulder's Gate is Sex Speedrun. It does not surprise me. <laughs> Have you seen the mods for that game? Holy shit. <laughs> like, goddamn. Yeah, one of the Ace Attorneys did get a higher rating, didn't it? I forgot about that. But, like, I don't pay attention to the ratings because I'm old. And, like, I've been playing M games since I was, like, 12. And, like, playing AO games since, you know, whatever. But, like, I don't, I just, I don't know. Does, I mean, I know there's, like, parents and, like, grandparents who, like, go into game stores and, like, buy their young kids grand theft auto and all those games and it's like mm, i don't know what is this i think we heard the fans on full speed through the microphone probably i i need to get new fans or do something my my pc is dying my ports are shit too i gotta get those fixed There's, like, a streamer version of Baldur's Gate, so you could, like, get that covered up so it doesn't, like, slip out, but... Why would you do that? Where is the fun? <laughs> and Silent Hill, yeah. I don't recall ever playing an AO game. You know, some people don't play them, and that's okay. That is a-okay. And then there's people who do play them, and that's okay, too. You're a seasoned horror gamer. It's a lot easier to push other people's buttons. Huh? Adults only. AO is adults only. So that's 18 and up. And then mature is... I have a mature game. I have freaking Alone in the Dark right here. I can just look at it. Yeah, mature is 17 and up. Just make mature 18 and up. I don't know. But, like, I know a lot of AO games are, like, sex-related. The ones I've played anyways, but... <laughs> anyways. Streamers play the Arrow 18 Plus patch and see how fast the reflexes are at the sensor screen. Oh. That's really dangerous. Dang. <laughs> but... It's... Okay, I've gone on another tangent. We should we should play this game. I mean, technically, in different countries, it's different. Silent Hill Homecoming in Australia is rated AO. I know Australia has a few of them. I think um I know Coffin of Andy and Lele was banned in Australia. I don't know if it's at M or if they bumped it up to AO. I don't know. Let's, um, hang on, hang on, hang on. Australia AO games. Hang 
Hang on. Because I know Manhunt was banned in a lot of um, places. Let's see. Blade Runner. That was um, banned. <laughs> Hotline Miami, that's banned. South Park, Stick of Truth, Saints Row. Witcher 2. Silent Hill Homecoming, yep. Okay, I'm Manhunt 2, that doesn't surprise me. So let me see what Silent Hill Homecoming was banned for. Banned because of a high-impact torture scene involving drilling into the body parts. That doesn't last long, as long as you're fast at clicking the buttons. Oh, they have a censored version that was released later. Changing angles of the said scene. Okay. Interesting. Why Blade Runner? I can look that up. Um, Blade Runner, Blade Runner. Give me a second. Interactive sexual activity involving a person who is or appears to be a child under 18 years old. Okay. That makes sense. Hotline Miami. Sexual violence. That's why it was banned. Stick of truth. Sexual violence. A lot of it is just violence. Saints Row, sexual violence, drug use, to incentives and rewards. Um, this one was censored down, though. So it was released, but it was censored down. Witchers 2, sexuality and nudity in relation to incentives and rewards. Okay, and then it was re-rated down because they censored it. Okay. Manhunt, not officially banned. Manhunt 2 was not officially banned. Interesting. Yeah, I heard about the guy game. Yep, they did ban it because of that, because there was a minor. Manhunt, the game never submitted to the ACB over fears that it would be refused. Okay, interesting. So technically Manhunt 2 was never banned in Australia, but they never gave it to Australia. Interesting. Um, Leisure Shoot Le Leisure Leisure Suit Larry. Okay, that makes sense. Hmm, <laughs> hello Homeland Security. Welcome, welcome. Okay, so they had a censored version of Manhunt. But then a federal attorney said, no, this is still too violent. Ban it completely. Phantasmagoria. This makes sense. Oh, overturned ones. Okay. <laughs> the feds have always been here, hamster. They're just lurking. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm doing well. How about yourself? The medium? References to sexual violence. But it was overturned. That's... Hmm, Outlast 2 was overturned? That's weird. I feel like Outlast 2 should have still been banned. Because holy shit. That was... That was a game. <laughs> There are feds in your stream? Absolutely. 100%. <laughs> Mortal Kombat. That makes sense. Fear 2. Fallout 3. Oh, drug use for incentives and rewards. That's so interesting. Yeah, Outlast 2 was something. It would be interesting because um, I know a lot of people weren't there when I did my Outlast Trials collab. I got super, super sick, like really bad sick. 
Like the next day I couldn't go visit my family because I was so sick. <laughs> I had to clean up after myself <laughs> because of all the motion sickness. It was bad. It was bad. <laughs> Everyone was saying goodbye in the chat and I'm like dying in my kitchen floor like, oh god. <laughs> so yeah, um, I... Ooh wee! I did not survive after that collab. And you could just tell. Is Mrs. Doubtfire not working? Mrs. Doubtfire, how dare you? Give me a second. I don't know what she's doing. I don't even have Mix It Up open. Okay, hang on. This is my fault. <laughs> Oopsies. She needs a day off. No, Mrs. Doubtfire has had enough days off. She needs to come here and help me. So... <laughs> I also got super, super sick with, um, Layers of Fear. Because near the end of the game, they just keep spinning and spinning you around. This playthrough will be salvaged. Yeah, we're doing Chapter 6 because I absolutely got the good ending. 100% I got the good ending. No one can tell me otherwise. <laughs> also, hello, Antares. Welcome, welcome. Okay, Mrs. Doubtfire, where are you? Come here. Hello, Mrs. Doubtfire? Mrs. Doubtfire? Oh my, Mrs. Oh, Mrs. Doubtfire! No! Is she broken? Oh, guys, I think she's broken. Oh my god, no. No, no, no. There she is. Oh my god, we did it. Redoing the last chapter? Nah, why would we have to redo the last chapter? We got the good ending. What are you guys talking about? <laughs> we got the good ending in one go. What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll stop gaslighting you guys. <laughs> also, hello, Ray. Welcome. <laughs> okay, let's jump into the game because I keep talking about stuff. Let me know if the volume for the game and myself are loud. Because I feel like I'm like screaming in my streams whenever I watch the VODs. And I'm trying to make like clips. It's like, oh god, I'm just like yelling. <laughs> yelling into the void. But yeah. Oh shit, I forgot to hit record. <laughs> Alrighty. A lot has t a lot of time has passed. I also don't know how long this chapter will be, but we'll finish it tonight. The muted chirping of insects gently drift along a breeze that enters the mansion. The music? The bugs are kind of quiet. I don't want them to be super loud because then... We'll get a jump scare, and then you guys will have bleeding ears. <laughs> it's cool enough to sleep through the night again. It's nearly autumn, after all. I stare out the window at the unchanging scenery without really seeing it. Clouds in the distance rumble with thunder. As if on cue, cold wind brushes up against the window pane. Rain again, huh? Wait, did he speak? I thought I heard someone. Never mind. I comment because otherwise it feels like I'm in a dream. It's as, it's as if a stranger is speaking. So wait a minute. When I heard that person, was it in the... Okay, cool. There might be someone else in the mansion with me. That's great. I stare at the laden sky. Even though I'm resting in a chair, I feel like I'm somewhere far away. When I shift, I see out of the corner of my eye the stacks of books piled on the desk. Some were pretty difficult to get my hands on. They're out of stock manga. <laughs> but I don't feel like reading them anymore. I could read all of them, and none will give me any type of clue. 
That's all I've learned after this time. The longer I try, the further away it gets. That thing sleeping in the wooden box. I head downstairs to make myself some coffee. There's a sudden knock at the door. I don't answer it. <laughs> Speaking of a knock at the door, um, if you guys were here long enough, I got a Aki statue around June last year. He was supposed to be here today, but I was in a meeting with my boss. And now I have to pick him up tomorrow. But yes, he didn't get lost at sea. He's coming home. Anyways, that hollow sound doesn't bring back good memories. It used to signal the arrival of new mark bearers to the mansion. But that's in the past now. I swing the door open. I think it would have been funny if it came in like June. I really think it would have been funny. <laughs> Standing in front of me is... Konnichiwa. Hiya. Mo Watanama. Is now a good time, mister? Oh, if it isn't, just tell me and I'll leave you alone. I have to, like, put chapstick on. It's so hard to, like, put chapstick on. Or, like, drink something when you're doing a very... text-heavy game. <laughs> Yeah, it's fine. Mo flashes a carefree smile and steps inside with a pep in her step. Just her presence makes this feel, this place feel less gloomy. With a start, I realize that Mo isn't my only visitor. OG? He just called me an old man! Okay, this character is like in his 30s. He's not old, okay? <laughs> 30 isn't old. It's been a while. I'm sorry for coming without contacting you. Sakasa, this is rare. Why are you here? Um, it's been a while since we'd met up, so I... So we talked about what happened. And obviously the topic came to you. So I told him that I visit you a lot and that he should come with me. No big deal, right? Of course I don't mind. I was just getting bored. The only person in this house is me and a killer doll. <laughs> yeah, I figured as much. You seem the type with the time on your hands. Thanks. But not really. I haven't seen them both together since the mark. <laughs> the mark? You mean... The marky pl The markiplier? <laughs> Mo comes by sometimes for interviews and the like for an occult magazine. But this is the first time I've seen Tsukasa Yoshida since then. I wasn't really concerned over him, but I'll admit I'm relieved to see he's alright. A lot of people say... A lot of people say 30 is old, and it's like, it's not that old. You're gonna be 30 before you know it, children. <laughs> I'm glad to see you're well. Have you gotten the chance to relax? I have. But uh, aren't you busy with entrance exams? Do you have time to waste doing this? Breaks are important. As an adult, you should understand that. Well, you know what? Sometimes, sometimes you do stuff. You'll be like, you need to take a break and relax. And then you yourself, you're like, no, no break. I have to hurry. Yeah, you're right. I glance over to see Mo staring at me. What is it? It's just, I'm working hard at my job too. You don't have anything to say? Trust me, I know you are. You've barreled your way in here several times already. That doesn't sound very encouraging. Hello, huge stinky feet. Don't ask me how I know that information. My feet don't stink, and they're not big. <laughs> Welcome on in, Phantom. 
my dad's like 15, he still looks the same as his 30s. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Just because you're not in your 20s doesn't mean you're old. Like, there was this um, one VTuber who I used to watch regularly, but then I had to stop watching because their community was very annoying to older people. They'd be like, oh my god, 23, 24, you're so old. You're like already in the grave, and it's like, that's not old. That's barely mid-20s. But yeah, I had to stop watching that streamer because of the community. <laughs> and that stinks, but you know, it happens. People often think I'm 10 to 15 years younger than I am. Yep, I get that too. I'll be... When I used to travel for my old job, I would have to like stay at hotels and people would be like, Are your parents in? When I get room service and it's like, No, I'm... No, I'm not a child. It would just make me so mad. It's like, I'm not a child, please. Even now. It's annoying. And like, I get carded whenever I do drink. I don't drink a lot, but I always get carded. And it- <laughs> I hate it. It's like, I'm not that young. <laughs> please. It's horrible. I know, I feel like- I didn't get a good hold on my life until like my mid to late 20s. You have a baby face? I- no, I don't! That's the thing, I don't! <laughs> like, I don't have like a soup. No, I- <laughs> I- I have like an adult face, I look like an adult! <laughs> but, that's... Yeah, it's a curse. Everyone's like, oh, it's a blessing. And it's like, no, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> okay, back to the game. <laughs> I had a little crisis there. But no way am I a match for Sukasa. He works crazy hard. He was the first in the recent mock trusts. That's only natural. After all, I have a goal. You do? I've never heard him mention it. Well, this is like the second time you've seen him, so... Or maybe I should say I never expected him to say he has a goal. You have something you're trying to accomplish? My parents were lawyers, so I was thinking of entering the judicial profession, but... Was thinking, huh? Has he changed his mind then? Wow, that's a cool dream! Jurassic! So you like dinosaurs, too! Tsukasa's glare is full of content. <laughs> Not Jurassic. Judicial, as in working and dealing with the law. Are you really in high school, Mo? Ugh. I've never been at a loss for words before. To be honest, now I'm not sure. If possible, I'd like to ask you for your opinion, mister. Don't ask me for my opinion. I am the reason we were in the Mark Bearer's mess, okay? Is that alright? You- I can- okay, if you want my opinion. I don't mind, but I'm kind of surprised. Who'd think Tsukasa would ask me for advice? Is it because I'm old? That incident I was wrapped up in started it. Now I know there are many incomprehensible things in the world. I'm considering going into science in order to elucidate them. That's a big word for a kid. But my parents, I feel that it would be difficult to tell them. Don't tell them then. Just do it. <laughs> I see. So that's what's going on. It's a serious predicament. You don't seem like someone who has much in the way of work experience. Rude. <laughs> but what do you think I should do? Just tell them. What's the worst that can happen? A lot of things can happen. Mm, it's difficult to say. If he's given the idea a serious thought, then it'd be better for him to tell his parents. Parents only want their kids to be happy. Lies. 
They'll support him if that's what he wants. I wish <laughs> that was true. So that's what I tell him. I see. I hope my parents think the same way as you. I chalk it up having worked night shifts for over 10 years and never seeing sunlight, which does <laughs> prem prematurely age you. Plus I don't smoke either, which would be another factor. Yeah, I don't smoke either and I barely drink. Also, I barely see the sun, so <laughs> I, I need to touch grass more. Thank you very much. I feel a little bit better now. I have no idea if my advice was really helpful or not, but Tsukasa bows politely to me. Why touch grass when you can eat grass? Well, you would have to touch the grass to eat it. Veggies are good for you. Yeah, you can touch the grass and then eat it. See, it's like a two for one. Also, welcome, Deku. Great, you good now? Your future's bright, unlike this Unlike this old guy here, so don't worry so much. I could have left you up in that ceiling, child. That's not true. I'm sure he also has a bright... Is this VN Horror? Yes, this is um, the first Deathmark game. We're actually doing the DLC chapter. They both look at me. Mm, nope, can't picture it. Thanks, Mo. But that's what makes him approachable. So he's good to vent to, at least. Oh, wow. Art style looks eerie. The art style for this game is beautiful. It is super, super beautiful. I love it. There are some images that are a little... sussy, I will say that. <laughs> but, um... It's... It's a very beautiful style, and I think they upgrade the style in the second game. Like, they slightly change it a bit. The story is about a unicorn who lost their ice cream. We're 98 chapters in and still going through the <laughs> intro. It's riveting. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I will try to continue to play the game. I'm sorry. <laughs> but there are definitely... Things that only he can do. Honestly, I can't think of any myself. I can make a good pot of coffee, but that's not really what they're talking about. I mean, there's that doll. Sukasa falls silent. Yeah, let's not mention Mary, please. <laughs> it seems my expression gave me away. Have you not made much progress? Oh, another thing. <laughs> Welcome to the beginning of my stream. I keep cutting in and out. Um, I was actually asked, um, to join a collab. Um, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a Doki Doki Literature Club, um, collab. So that's exciting. Um, I don't know the date or time or anything, but I'm excited. I kind of hope I get the character I kind of want to voice. But we'll see. I, I'm not going to be picky. I'll, I'll let everyone choose who they want to do and then I'll choose the last one. <laughs> if you want to look young, keep yourself at low temperature as often as possible. I'm freezing all the time. Maybe that's why <laughs> I look young. Everyone write that down. If you want to look young, keep yourself cold. <laughs> Nothing I can share at the moment. I've researched everything I can. Mary's true identity is, el is as elusive as smoke. I still haven't managed to find clues. I would love to do voices for this game, but there's too many characters. And it's like, extremely hard on me. <laughs> But with the um, collab, it'll just be one character. And it won't be like the full four hours. I'll be able to like sit there. Hello, Weaver, welcome. I'll be able to sit there and relax for a little bit. <laughs> so I am excited. I'm very excited. And like, I'm really happy someone invited me to do that. It's like, oh, thank you. Thank you, it makes me happy.
It'd be long sessions if there's a lot to go through. I think we'd only do like one playthrough. Just because um, we're all over the globe. Excited to hear more of it though. I'm excited too, it's nice. I have to wait a for a date for that. I have to wait for a date for D&D. &D. I have to figure out my webcam situation for the hand cam stream. Also, I accidentally opened another card pack because technically it was ripped and I'm like, I might as well open it. So I did. It's bad. <laughs> you guys have no clue. It's just tempting. They're just sitting there and it's like, I need to stop. I'm not gonna have anything to open. <laughs> So I'm taking a bit of a break right now. I'm glossing over it. But to be honest, any sort of tension has vanished. My rest hasn't relaxed me. It's more like I'm a balloon that's lost all its air. If I was risking my life and facing death every day, it might be different, but... Right now, my determination to move forward that I had back then is gone. That's so. I'm sorry, I had no idea. Then it might be best for you to re rest and relax a bit. How about a trip to improve your mood? You might get a good idea. I'm about to reply to that when... There's another knock at the door. Mm, who could that be? Yes, who is it? Oh my god, my throat. I also hope <laughs> my throat is better by the time that collab comes around. Mo calls out playfully like she lives here and skips over to answer the door. Stay hydrated. Yes. I'm coming in. It's the love child of Gojo and... Okay. When did we get this music? This must be a new soundtrack. I kind of like it. I hate that it's connected to him, though. <laughs> I love the jazzy. The ex-detective, Taru Mashida. Hey, what's all this? Hey, what's all this? When did you start daycare? Hmm? Mr. Mashida, why are you here? Did you come to see us? Most clearly excited, but Sukasa is collected. I see bows politely. I'm in your debt for your help back then. Still, I'm surprised. I didn't think we'd be able to meet here. Mishida gives an annoyed shake of his head. <laughs> I'm the one asking why you're here. Damn, we're going in circles now. Don't lie, I know you're happy to see us. You're always hiding behind your feelings. Oh, what a huge coincidence. We've got everyone from the Hanahiko case back together again. This is totally destiny. Is it? <laughs> I feel conflicted seeing her innocent smile. If everyone's happy after such a horrific event, then maybe it'll fade quickly to a memory. Mm, everyone, huh? In that case, one person, no, one being is missing. As he mutters, he glances at a spot in the room. It would be best to change the subject. So, why are you here? I have something to ask you first. He answers me with a question, like usual. Bean, you told that fortune teller about my office, didn't you? Does he mean... Toko Yasaoka? Yeah, it might have come up while I was talking to her about Mary. Why'd you have to go and do that? Now I'm drowning under investigation requests. What does that mean? Are you a private eye, Mr. Mishida? Mo butts in, her eyes shining. She's not timid, I'll grant you that. Wow, I guess you'd be pretty good at that. Oh, if you get an interesting job, bring me along with you. 
Even Mashida can only blink at her innocence. And this is exactly why it's annoying. Still, when I think about it, Mashida. Mashida's complaints don't make much sense. How could he be at a disadvantage by my sharing his information with Yasuoka, who's incredibly famous? He himself said he was drowning under requests. I only told her about your office. What's wrong with that? Getting job requests is good, isn't it? What detective hates too many requests? Plus, he only just started. Even if he's insanely talented, there's no way he's already overwhelmed. It depends on what the request is about. The one I just got is the worst. Did he just hesitate? Mashida. It's your fault that this happened. So, Bean. Yeah? I'm gonna have you help me. Help you? Wait a minute. What are we talking about here? Can't you guess based on context? I believe he's telling you he wants your help with a detective job. Wow. I can't really picture him working as a private eye, though. Now, if he were to investigate a supernatural phenomenon, that would be per- Wait, don't tell me. This worst request ever that you got. We all hold our breath as we stare at Mashida. Exactly. A spirit might be involved. It's a good opportunity. This is what I heard from the old fortune teller. And... Chapter 6. A little Red Riding Hood. Fun fact, for my first and only karaoke stream, I sang that song. Good song. No, this is totally for real, I swear. Who farted? <laughs> Hamster, don't fart out of... <laughs> it's okay, we'll get through the chapter together. <laughs> you don't have to do fear farts. <laughs> I think I saw something real bad on the Love Hotel Street the other day. You heard about the Red Riding Hood girl. That rumor about people disappearing after entering the Love Hotel in K-City? On rainy days, this girl stands by the road like she's trying to get customers. Anyone who goes in the hotel with her ends up missing. And here's the kicker. Eventually they're found, but... Their heads are so messed up they can't even remember their names. Some end up dying in the hospital and others jump in front of trains. I totally forget when I was walking around at night the last time it rained. And there was a girl in a red raincoat there, so I thought I'd chat her up. But when I got close to her... <laughs> tell me, are you... She suddenly started whispering to me. I got real creeped out, so I bolted. No, I'm seriously glad she didn't follow me. Thinking back on it, something was odd. It wasn't raining that hard, but she was the one who was soaked from head to toe. Later, I realized that raincoat was probably soaked with blood. Maybe it was a yellow raincoat, and then it was turned red. Maybe she's the raincoat killer. Who is to say? That's all I was told. I'm sorry, but I must say that sounds like a simple ghost story. The rainy shopping district, rainy shopping district, and the red raincoat rather suspicious. Mashida ignores Sukasa, looking straight at me instead. It's enough to make me concerned. I'll leave the rest to you, Bean. I'm bogged down with my other cases. I don't have time to spare. It's your fault that the old lady brought this to me. Ah! Oh! So you need to take responsibility. But. Come on, you can help him out a little. I'll help too. The editorial department might have some information on a case like this. And your investigations need an assistant, right? Did you learn nothing, Miss Mo? Isn't this what put you in danger the last time? Last time. 
Those words draw my eyes immediately to a certain spot. She's not here anymore. The same thing won't happen. It can't. But somewhere deep in my heart, I'm anxious. Soaked in ketchup. <laughs> Don't work yourself up. It's more likely that it's just a lie. My dude, we're in a horror game. It's not a lie. <laughs> a bunch of it sounds like it was made up. That's why it's such a pain to have an absurd request like that brought to me. Mashida's right. It's highly likely the whole story was made up. If I had to point anything concerning about it, it's pretty detailed for just a rumor. Rumors can be detailed! And it leaves the same kind of impression as rumors of real spirits. But it's better to be safe than sorry. If it does end up being true, then we need to act now, yeah? Okay, I'll do it. I hoped you'd say that. We better get rid. No, I'm going alone. What? No way, that's not fair. Child, I am going to the red light district. I am not bringing a minor with me. I knew she'd complain. But I can't put her in harm's way. Listen, Mo, I need you to search for information. I've got no way to research these rumors, but you have access to a lot more than me. Use your position to gather information. Mm. I really hate sitting out and watching you do everything, but if that's how I can help best, then that's what I'll do. This time. If you find anything out, though, tell me, okay? I promise. It's settled. Mashida takes out a notebook and rips out a page and hands it to me. The address of the hotel masquerade. It's abandoned now, though. Meet there at 8, tomorrow night. See, here's the thing. Mashida only wanted to take me to a love hotel. He's just dressing it up like, Yeah, there's a ghost there! Come with me to this love hotel! I'm, I'm on to you, Mashida. 8 p.m.? I have to go at a specific time? The client set the time. The old lady said she'd call in help, so it's probably a scheduling thing. I don't have to handle this alone, then. Plus, this is Yasuoka. I'm sure she has some kind of plan in mind. Well then, I need to get to my other cases. Mishida turns on his heels and vanishes out the front door. But he's just as suddenly back. What's wrong? Weren't you leaving? Nothing, just realize it's a little late for kids to be wandering around outside. Mashita calls out to the other two. Hey, you two. I'll drive you back, so hurry up and get in the car. Oh, is that okay? Then I'll take you up on that. I agree. It is pretty late. Sorry to trouble you. Well then, mister. We'll be going. You know, one thing that kind of bothered me was that Sukasa and Mo have, like, the same haircut, and they're in the same chapter together. Like, they couldn't just grab one design and, like push it off to like a different chapter that's like one of the things that annoyed me it's like you guys have like the same hairstyle can we push that to a different chapter or something the rhythmic ticking of the grandfather clock echoes throughout the hall how long has it been since those three went home i sit and mull over what mishida told me i have a bad feeling about this it's perfectly reasonable to believe it's just rumors. A normal case, even. But the more I think about it, the more I'm doubting it. I mean, after what they've been through, I would be questioning everything. I'd be like, um, listen, I know this is an old house, but I'm pretty sure it's a spirit, <laughs> you know? I mean, it was I, 10 days. I believe the story is like 10 days long. So over a week of like back-to-back -back supernatural stuff, it's like, mm, I don't know. I would be questioning everything. I avert my eyes from the sofa. We should burn that sofa. I silently ask its absent master a question, but of course there's no way she'd reply. She better not reply. I put her in that box. 
I swear to God, if she decides to be like, I can't move, but I can speak. <laughs> We'd have to like bury that box or something the next evening. I get ready and leave my room with heavy steps. The clock says it's six on the dot. It's still early for the meetup. I guess, unconsciously, I'm a little impatient. I'm already ready. There's no reason to wait here at the mansion. Guess I'll go. I'll just kill time there if I'm early. I'll learn the truth in and out. It'll be quick. I turn the car key. My mood improved somewhat. Cool. Let's get out of here. Masquerade. I've been watching a lot of videos on YouTube about um, the tabletop games, like World of Darkness tabletop games. I remember wanting to do like a hunter one, but could never do it. <laughs> I arrive at the designated hotel 20 minutes before the meeting time. How far is this hotel? We left at 6. The meeting time was 8. Good lord. The rain falling when I left Cujo Mansion has now turned into a drizzle. I park my car in a lot and walk to the street. The hotel, my destination, stands at the end. So this is it. There's hardly anyone on this neon lit street, perhaps because of the rain. Didn't that rumor... Red Riding Hood appears when it rains. It's the perfect night to investigate the rumor. The hotel in question doesn't seem to be particularly guarded against intruders either. Anyone could step in if they wanted. I mean, that's a business. <laughs> I see. So that's why it's the focal point of the rumor. People going in the abandoned hotel on a day are running across suspicious people or squatters. Oh, it's abandoned, abandoned. Okay. Then their stories get exaggerated and we get the rumor that's the base of this case. I bet someone was seen in red clothes and it turned into Red Riding Hood. That's probably how it really is. My heart suddenly feels a lot lighter. I guess I was taking this too seriously after all. And then I see a girl with a red hood. <laughs> now that I've gotten rid of one worry, though, this time something else starts bugging me. I'm a grown man, standing alone in the middle of this road in the red light district. This isn't going to do anything good for my reputation. I should get out of the rain until it's time to meet. I glance around the area for a place. Oh, is that you, Bean? Hey, hero! Wait, what are you doing here? I thought so. Hey, it's been a while. A woman in a lab coat appears. It's Madoka Hiro. Hiro? I heard I had help, but I didn't think it'd be you. What? You don't approve? Take your complaints up with Yosaoka. No complaints here. No, no, I, I didn't mean it like that. Whatever else can be said about her, Hiro is a calm, collected, and logical. Her opinions are valuable. Huh, well that's a surprise. I guess you do respect me, as you should. My neck tingles from the strength of her judging stare. I wasn't expecting her to have changed, and she definitely hasn't. Do you still visit the underground shelter? Hm? Yes, well, only once in a while. I've been busy with work recently, so I haven't had the time. How are things going on your end? Nothing exciting. I'm taking some time to relax. Um, I wasn't really asking about you personally. <laughs> Whatever, I think I have a pretty clear picture now. Wow, Hero. Coming in with the burns. Hero glances down at her watch distractedly. Mmm, is something wrong? No, he should be here soon. Oh wait, there he is. I follow Hero's gaze to find... Yo. Hey! What is this? Hello, did I make you wait for me? Damon? You were rounded up for this too? 
That's not a nice way to put it, but yes, basically. Hello, Dev. Welcome, welcome. Yasa Oga insisted, so I'll be accompanying you today. And don't worry about me. My health has been much better since then. My cough has mostly gone away, too. Oh, really? He seems to be pretty confident about that, but he looks as pale as ever. Some people are just pale. Like, some people have that deathly sick look to them. It, they can't fix it. <laughs> but it's his body, and he's a doctor. So if he says he's fine, I'll just have to believe him. I met with Hiro just recently, but... Well, I hope we work well together again. I can't say an unscientific investigation gets me very excited, but... I owe, I owe the old woman, so this is how I'll pay her back. You owe her? Yeah, it's almost impossible to get your hands on old army documents, but she's got a lot of influence, so I had her pull some strings for me. Well, I guess not just her. You saved me too, back when all that stuff was going on. It's not like I don't feel indebted to you. I see. Thanks. I can't say I ever expected Hero to feel that way. But in a situation like this, I'm grateful. By the way, is it okay for both of you to walk around in your lab coats? Shouldn't you change? We're in the red light district, hello. Hey, this is a professional look. During an investigation like this, it's actually even better than... Hero's cell phone rings in her pocket. Oh, give me a second. Sorry, I got an email. Let's see here. Hero checks the screen, her back turned to me. Hmm, Hero seems as busy as ever. I'm fairly busy myself. Sorry to drag you all the way out here then. No, don't worry about that. If you're after something then, I want to help you out. After all, we overcame that horrible trial together. To us, you're... No, something even stronger. Like, a comrade in arms. Sorry for the interruption, but it was an important message. The last person won't make it. Oh! Th there was gonna be a third? I was caught by her manager. No! My girl! She was supposed to come with us! No! This is so sad. I, she means the idol, I Kashiwagi. Sounds like she's keeping busy too. But bringing a popular idol to a place like this sounds like a PR nightmare. So here, Hiro hands me her cell phone. W what are you doing? She's still on the line. She wanted to apologize to you herself. I don't really need. Quit your grumbling and take the call. Hiro shoves the phone into my hand without letting me get a word in edgewise. Guess I have no choice. My voice when I speak into the phone is surprisingly meek. Um, hello? I? No, oh, is that you, Bean? Good morning, it's me, I Kashiwagi. I'm so, so sorry. I'll regret, I'll regret not being able to help you for the rest of my life. Her whirlwind of words is the same as always, energetic and full of exaggeration. I do my best to convince her not to worry. No, it's fine, really. I doubt anything will even happen over this. Really? I hope so. Oh no, my cue's coming up. Please come to our next performance. Performance? Wow, I can't speak today. Okay, bye! And just like that, the hurricane of a phone call passes us by. The change in excitement levels leaves a vacuum. My head spins. She's tiring, isn't she? Jeez, that old lady thought it'd be a good idea to bring an idol on a case. By the way, Bean, um, are you close to Kashiwagi? That's a odd question coming from Damon. Yeah, I mean, I have her contact information at least. Could you get me concert to- <laughs> Can you get me concert tickets? Oh my god, Damon. Okay. A kid at work's a huge fan of her, but they can never get a ticket. Just say it's for you. Oh, that explains it. Still, I don't think she was that popular. I can try asking. 
How many do you need? Three, if possible. I'd like to go as well. It's a rare opportunity. You're a little old for idols. You have a thing for girls? I'm... Hmm, that sentence... That sentence doesn't read right. I think what they're trying to imply is you have a thing for younger girls? This sentence just implies, oh, you're straight? <laughs> I'm a connoisseur of music. Idols have nothing to do with it. A subject change right now would be wise. Got a lot of free time to stand around, I see. But playtime's over. Mashida, what are you doing here? This case is a request from a client. Wanted to make sure you showed. Jerk. What, planning on observing us, are you? What if we hadn't shown up? One of you is a no-show, in fact. I heard four were coming. Aikashiwagi couldn't make it. It seems her manager caught her. That so? He shrugs indifferent. Guess he figures it won't make much difference. So you took care of your other cases already? Thought I told you, I'm just checking in. While I'm here, I have new information on the hotel to give you. Who keeps calling? Just then, someone else's cell phone starts ringing. Oops, this one's from my hospital. Excuse me for a moment. One right after the other. We decide to take shelter from the rain. Damon has to finish his call, and we may as well hear what information Mashida has. Oh, we get more um, visual scenes. We don't get a lot of these in this game. I wonder if NG and number two have more scenes like this. We commandeer a dirty smoking area on the corner. Then we start our improv strategy meeting. God, this rain is irritating. I hate it. Hiro grumbles as she gulps down her drink. Mashida gives her a side long glance and sighs, exhaling smoke. Then he starts to talk. Listen. They talk a lot more in this chapter. I wonder if that's gonna be the same thing for like NG and number two. Or I wonder if number two has full voice acting. If they do, I kinda hope it's English. <laughs> but I'm gonna have to look and see if NG has voice acting. No, you're fine, Pack. You were A-OK. -okay. You gotta walk the puppers, I understand. Hello, Slipknot guy. Welcome, welcome. That hotel. Ma Did I not change my category to- Yep, that's why. I gotta change my category. There we go. <laughs> that hotel masquerade closed down about a year ago now. I'm doing well, how about yourself? It's unclear why, but it probably has to do with the owner going missing. Missing? That sounds like the Red Riding Hood rumors. I mean, it's kind of a standard word in any urban legend, but... Why, why he went missing is unknown. Okay-ish. I feel that. I feel that. Hopefully, the rest of your day goes a lot better. And maybe if you have the weekend to just relax, that would also be good. But something's definitely behind it. He just up and vanished. Kiro pipes up, frowning. Then just- then that just proves this is a normal case. Is there any point in searching the hotel? Mashida taps his cigarette into the ash tray, shaking off the ash. He then continues with the same train of thought. It seems like he's going to ignore Hero's question. Rouge? A few publications had fun with the story for a while. It's prime gossip. 
but after a point, it stopped being reported and everyone up and forgot. Now, this is just my guess, but this area's crime syndicate, sorry, this area's crime syndicate turf, they likely applied pressure to keep things quiet. Makes sense for a red light district. At least that's how it seems from the way he's talking. I'm sorry to hear about that. But yes, tomorrow is a new day. It's gonna be a better day, for sure. And what just started spreading around at the same time as the missing persons cases are... Mishida waves his lit cigarette out towards the street. The rumors of Red Riding Hood. The so-called eyewitness reports and the people who actually heard things. But altogether, it seems Masquerade is the center of all rumors. Yasuoka brought the request to me, and is also of the same opinion. Masquerade simply stands there, quietly, on the dark street, soaked with the rain. I did not hear the pufferfish. That must be, like, a very quiet puffer fish. I'm sorry about that hamster. <laughs> Thank you for the biddies. I couldn't hear the puffer fish. I don't know why some sound alerts are, like, super, super loud. And then others aren't. So I do apologize for that. I think I'm gonna have to go and fix that. I see. Guys, I have bad <laughs> um friends. I don't want to startle anyone. Um, there's someone in the corner with a red um raincoat on. You know, nothing weird, but the, you know, there there's someone there. <laughs> oh my fucking god! I seriously thought that was in the game. I'm like. Oh, they got that grudge noise. No! <laughs> God damn. <laughs> that phasmophobia grown crazy. It was just perfectly timed, too, because Red Riding Hood just popped up and it's, Hey, I'm here. It's like, please don't be here. <laughs> I was not expecting that. <laughs> I just wanted to pog. When I turn around, someone is standing there. My heart thunders in my chest. I throw my shoe at it. Oh, boy. Yeah, there's like actual voice acting in this chapter. That is new. Interesting. Hey, hero. Behind you. Huh? What? Is there a moth? Oh, I wish it was a moth. Well... No, no, um, I was gonna say, isn't it if you see... It's... The myth is, if you see a butterfly at night, you're, like, death is approaching. I'm pretty sure it was butterfly. It's been a while. But I'm pretty sure it's butterfly and not moth. Hero looks behind her, puzzled. Nothing's there. Sorry. I think my eyes were playing tricks on me. I make an effort to gloss it over. But... <laughs> Mrs. Doubtfire coming in to take out Red Riding Hood. <laughs> but there's no way I can believe it was a trick. I'm sure I saw it. Maybe the darkness had strained my eyes and I saw something that wasn't there, but... I don't know, that red was pretty bright. Damon's call ends. If that was me, I would just be screaming. And then Damon would be like, what are you doing? This is why you don't bring me on little ghost hunts. <laughs> I would just scream and run around. I would be the worst partner ever, I feel. Oh, sorry. Patient with an emergency. I managed to walk them through procedures, but I need to go soon or... I'm terribly sorry. I'll make up for this later, I promise. 
Damon runs off into lately falling rain. Human lives depend on his work. This kind of thing is inevitable. Which means Hero and I will have to handle the investigation by ourselves tonight. That's okay. Hero and I will pog together. So the only one left is the science freak. Oh! Mashida! That's concerning. What? What did you say? Is that how you treat people helping you out? Paying no mind to Hiro's violent outburst, Mashida calmly looks at his watch. It's time. Enough gossip. The rest is in your hands. And with that, he's gone. What? What a jerk! Calm down. He didn't mean anything by it. He's like that with everyone. That still doesn't excuse that attitude. Yeah, Mashida is very much blunt, and he does not care, and it's like, why would you do that, dude? <laughs> I tried to be soothing, but that stung her pride. There's no way I'll be successful. I can't calm down when someone's just treated me like an idiot. Just you wait. I'm gonna make sure I find a clue, and then I'll rub it in his stupid face. Come on, let's go. Oh, I don't have a flashlight. We step inside and are greeted by chilly air. Is this marble? Our footsteps echo across the exquisite detailed floor. Where are we? It's a hotel, so the first floor is probably the lobby. Oh, right. Yeah, it would be. Wouldn't it? It's only been a few seconds since we've stepped foot in the hotel, and yet... Hero's fiery determination appears to have puttered out. Where did all that energy disappear off to? Are you okay, Hero? I'm fine. Not like some weird spirit's going to pop up. This is nothing compared to the underground shelter. Girl... We don't know. But... But don't you think something's odd? Like what? Maybe it's because it's only been a year since this place shut down, but... It's less damage than I thought. I mean, it's only been a year. I assumed there'd be more graffiti and stuff. You're not wrong. A lot of abandoned places do get graffitied up. You know, now that she mentions it, it's true. This door. It's the emergency staircase. The sign's above the door there. I shine the flashlight around, and while the place is dirty, nothing's really broken. But we are able to come in here off the street without anything getting in our way. So then why... Mashita mentioned earlier, he said this hotel might be connected to some crime syndicate. Yeah, what about it? Maybe that's why it's still nice in here. Anyone who'd be most likely to tag would be... Oh, gotcha. So it's a gang thing, then. You think they made it off limits? On the other hand, maybe people stay away because dangerous things keep happening here. I should probably not mention that possibility to her. That helps us, though. Everything should be mostly intact. So what's the plan? Should we just do a thorough search of each floor for now? We don't have any particularly useful information. We'll just have to sh search every nook and cranny like Hero suggested. There's nothing else we can do. Okay, let's get to it then. Well... It's easy to get out of here, so that's it good at least. Yeah, if we're in danger, we'll just halt the investigation and withdraw. See, right there, it just kind of sounds like <laughs> we're going to get stuck in here. There are pictures of the guest rooms on the wall. Door to the elevator. It's the entrance to the reception booth. 
Let's go. A key ring has been left carelessly on the front desk. The ring has a tag that reads, for emergencies. Get the emergency key ring. Nice. Looks like you found something useful right off the bat. If it says it's for emergencies, then... Hero looks at the door to the right. It might open the door to the... To the emergency stairs. This chapter has a lot of atmospheric background noise. They really upped it up in this chapter. Which makes me think NG and Spirit Hunter 2 are gonna be phenomenal. I use the emergency keyring to open the door. Go up, let's go! Okay. Masquerade wife. It's a picture of a masked woman gazing at a man. I open the door to the guest room and walk inside. Hello? The trash can has a giant crack in it. It probably happened when it was knocked over. I open the door to the bathroom. Okay, no one's pooping, that's good. The bathtub is stained with dust and slime. The mirror is stained, but still functional. I can see myself in it. I peer into the mirror in the dark. I don't see anything, but it still creeps me out. I'll get back to investigating. Okay, we have to do something in that mirror. We gotta do Bloody Mary or something. Is that all? Hmm, okay. Let's leave the bathroom. A Ventian mask with a creepy expression hangs on the wall. Were they... Were they hung there to match the hotel's theme? It's still kind of creepy. The power cord and the phone line have both been cut. The phone can't be used. It's a bed with a mattress. I lift up the mattress and look underneath. I notice a notebook laying there. Mass guest book. The guest book? Why? It's just... I flip through it. Inside are pictures drawn in colored markers. Hotel Masquerade's guest book. Feel free to write about the sweet, sweet time you've spent together. Clearly they didn't need to be told twice. Still, I can't believe anyone who frequents a hotel like this would write such things. But you know what they say about assuming. Every single page is filled top to bottom with lewd suggestive comments. Wow, so that's what people do. A hero? Certainly Hero is peeking over my shoulder at the guest book. Instinct makes me try to hide it, but she plucks it from my hand easily. There's no reason to hide it. We're not children, you know. Well, yeah, but... Now let's see here. Hmm, I see. At first she looks through it, humming a little tune to herself, but... She starts acting... Odd. What's the matter, Hero? Uh, what? I'm fine. I I've just had enough. Reading stuff like this it does things to your head. So, so take it back. She's the one who grabbed it in the first place. My eyes fall on the page it landed open on. It looks like it's the last entry in the guest book. There's something written in thin, scrawling letters. This is bad. Someone might have ratted us out. There's rumors that she tattled to the teach and said she was going to the fuzz. This is so, so, so bad. What should... That's all I can make out. Teach? That phrasing. Rather immature. Must be a student. What is a student doing in a love hotel? Yeah, I think so too. But isn't that strange? A girl her age isn't normally at a hotel like this. Oh! 
Maybe schoolgirl prostitution? That would be a reasonable assumption. It's horrible, but it's the only logical conclusion. I hope that's not the case. That would mean this entry... It sounds like she was panicking over having things leaked by a friend. How stupid can she get? You reap what you sow. Kids have their own issues to deal with, too. It's not such a black and white situation to be able to say that she got what she deserved. Exactly. Excuse me. Though, at least one thing has been made clear thanks to these notes. It sounds like the rumors about this place being tied to a crime syndicate are true. It's obvious that there was a lot of illegal stuff going on here. That sounds logical enough. The number on the guest book must refer to the room number. There may be more guest books. True. If we could get more information from these entries, we might be able to figure out what happened here. Let's keep an eye out. Paper under the bed. I try pulling on it, but it doesn't budge. I'll have to lift the bed up a little more if I want to get it out. I glance over at Hero, but... I don't think she'd be able to help me lift it. Maybe I should just search elsewhere for now. So I'm gonna have to come back here to get a guy partner, I bet you. I am not gonna remember this. <laughs> All right, what's in this guest room? Weren't we just he No. The phone was here before. There are iron bars covering the window. The sturdy iron bars seem a little much if they're only there to stop people from falling. Wooden chest, let's open it. The drawer is locked. Of course. It seems to be a simple stopper type lock, the one you'd find in a writing desk. Why don't you just break it? Shouldn't that be a last resort? It's an abandoned building, I think we can break it. It seems like a natural choice for mammalian primate <sighs> homodade? Girl! I put one hand on the bed and lean my weight on it. The spring simp simply creaks fruitlessly. Alright, to the bathroom. No one be here. Oh, thank god. In my search to see if anything is inside, I only get dust on my fingers. No mirror, that's weird. No one- oh! The toilet is spewing the horrid stench of sewage. Disgusting. I thought it was going to be a silent... A silent hill thing where you have to put your little hands in the toilet. <laughs> Alright, there's nothing in this room. God, I'm not going to be able to remember these rooms. <laughs> um... I press the button repeatedly, but the elevator doesn't respond, nor does the door open. I, I guess we have to... Oh, we can go up more! Okay. How many floors is this? Ooh, is this mask husband? No, masquerade wife. It's a picture of a masked woman walking with a cane. Huh. It's an object with an iron cover. I think it's some kind of electrical device. Hello, Bixie! Welcome, welcome! I hope you're having a good evening, or morning, where you're at. Opened the door to the guest room and walked in. A large air conditioning unit. It's tainted yellow, maybe from tobacco resin? The vase holds some cheap fake flowers. I look around the bedside table and find... A spoon! 
Were they eating dessert in here or something? The spoon is stained black. What the hell are they eating? Let's go to the bathroom again. No one in here. Okay, thank God. I open the door and check the toilet. I find a wallet covered in black stains. I need to reload stream. Twitch is being weird. I feel like Twitch has been weird lately. I don't know why. It's... It's something. I'm sorry. <laughs> Ugh, that's moldy. Try not to breathe it in. Is there anything inside? I check inside it. There isn't any cash. Okay, then throw it away. <laughs> but... Ooh, a credit card! It's probably cancelled, but you know. I guess probably dropped this. But the stains make it so I can't read the name on the card. We could use that to ID one of the guests. Don't you think you should take it with you? Yeah, you're right. My reply is half-hearted. I'm distracted by the stains. I don't mention it to Hero, but the stains on the card look like... Old blood stains. You know what? I'd rather have blood stains than something else. Blin a thin layer of dust coats the mirror, but one spot, which is wiped clean. If I squint, the clean portion looks like a hand. Does this belong to someone who snuck in here, or is it the work of something else? I had to reload the page because every time I tried to type in chat, the page would always scroll to the bottom. I'm sorry, guys. That really sucks. I... I don't know why Twitch is being like this. I'm sorry. I know it's, like, really frustrating. Like, why can't things... work like they're supposed to? Well, this isn't a bedroom. Hello? Oh. Yeah, that's a Spanish donkey. A Spanish donkey lies in the corner of the room. I don't want to imagine what it was used for. I'm... If you know what a Spanish donkey is, then you already knew know what it was used for. The part that doesn't look like... It was the... Hang on. The part that looks like it was the neck is broken and the head is missing. One point I was typing, yeah, um, you and Zero were like typing in reverse. It's Twitch. I've had it happen on other streams. Yeah, I still feel bad though. It's so weird. And it happened to you too, Cope? What's a Spanish donkey? Mm, if you are of age, you can look it up yourself. Inside the glass case are whips and ropes. Okay, we're, we're getting into a dungeon-esque thing, okay. They're rather shadily made. I doubt they would survive being used. I mean, they're probably just for decoration. There's an unnatural space along the wall. Going by the stains, it's likely something once hung there. Okay, well, we can only guess what was there. I don't want it on my search history. That's why you go into incognito mode. <laughs> it must be broken. Kick the door in. I put my hand on the door and try pulling. But it doesn't move at all. Just give up. You might break it if you force it. It's abandoned. We can break anything we want. I don't know why they're being so extra careful about stuff. All right, third floor, let or fourth floor, I guess. I take the stairs and exit out into the hallway. Wait, what? Hero suddenly shouts. Isn't this the third floor? It looks like it. Don't be ridiculous. You're just imagining things. I'm sure she's just mistaken. I shine the flashlight at the floor plate. At the floor number plaque. 
Hello, Arid. Welcome, welcome. It says we're on the third floor again. Hero's face goes completely pale. A absurd. We just came up from the third floor. Just as Hero said, we definitely just climbed up from the third floor to the fourth. So why are we back on the third floor? It, it might just be a weird fluke. Let's try again. Right. We climb the stairs again, like actors in a play, but... Sure enough, we come back on the th third floor. Uh, uh Impossible. Th this time I'm sure we... It, it's an optical illusion. Th that's it! There must be a trick with the lights. Hero has completely lost it. I'm gonna finish homework, we'll be listening most likely, but I... <gasps> that one didn't spook me. <laughs> I was ready. <laughs> but thank you, hamster, and... Yes, lurking is poggers. Go finish your homework. We will just be here pogging. I don't know why the Titanic one makes me confused. I, sh I should be used to it. I shouldn't, like, have a brain fart for, like, two seconds, like, why is this playing? <laughs> thank you for the biddies, hamster. Hello, Belle. Welcome, welcome. Who farted? Hamster, you keep fear farting. My goodness. We're stuck on the third floor. You're gonna stink it up. I made absolutely sure that we are- <sighs> My goodness. <laughs> the farts. <laughs> I made absolutely sure that we are heading to the fourth floor from the third floor. <laughs> fart stream <laughs> it's fear farting <gasps> fear fart friday oh my god there it is <laughs> in some cultures it's a sign of happiness is it the bad titanic flute might be my favorite sound of all time i love it <laughs> It's actually not alerting me that the farts are being played. Is it showing you guys the farts are being played? So it's showing that the farts are being played? It's not showing me. I'm glad I could make it to see it live. Yeah. We got one of the best Silent Hill endings played. <laughs> I think that's the first time someone played that too. How's the stream? It's been good. <laughs> it's been good. <laughs> thank you for the all the biddies, hamster. Thank you, thank you. But yes, stream has been good. Um, I'm gonna see if I can try to platinum this game it's after stream. And it's art. Yes, it is art. I bought this game again. Hello, other bean. Welcome, welcome. I hope you're having a good evening. Have you played the other games, other bean? Like NG and number two? You found it for cheap? Yeah, these visual novels go for a lot of money. From 50 to five? You got lucky, dang. That's a good deal. But, yeah, it's, <laughs> please, I have to wait for number two to go on sale, but Steam has the summer sale, so I'll just get it then. But I think, I don't know about you guys, but I think I actually saw number two up for $70. But now I'm seeing it for like 50 and it's like, I don't know if I want to pay that much for a visual novel. Like, I love visual novels, but I don't know. I found Clock Tower 3 for PS2 today. I have been trying to find a decent copy of that, Cope, but I can't find a decent copy that's a decent price. 
Yeah, it's only 50. <laughs> this was your first visual novel. I think you said that before, Other Bean. I think you said that. Which... A very interesting choice for the first visual novels. I love the first game, but I never got around to the other two. Okay. Yeah, I, I really want to play the second one. Like, after we finish up Alone in the Dark, we're gonna jump to NG. And for it to be interactive was good, and also creepy. Yeah! Love horror games? That's what we do here. <laughs> I've accidentally rebranded $54! Oh, lucky. They let you test it in the store? That is so nice. There was a retro game store I used to go to. And I generally went to this one because it was clean. And like... The other game store that is still open, it's not that clean. You know? And, like, they don't have a good variety of games. At the, um... Anyways, back to the good-looking game store that was clean. They had Clock Tower 2 on sale for, like, $666. And I just wanted to look at it. Just, like, to look at the cover or the disc and everything. And they would not open the case for me. They were like, no. You pretty much have to buy it to look at it. And it's like, what? What? But, like, when I went, like, the other store I went to, like, the people are really kind and stuff, but, man, I wish it was just a bit cleaner, you know? But, like, when I asked for them to open the case for, um, Sukuden 5, I was like, can I look at it just to, like, see if it's decent? And he's like, yeah, absolutely. And I actually bought it <laughs> that day. Because I've actually never seen it in person before. And I, if I can, I would like to buy a game in person because I don't know the quality I'm going to get on eBay. But most of the time, you're going to have to find stuff on eBay. Hello, Egg. Welcome, welcome. Horror games are kind of MO here. We all love them. Yeah. NG so... Yes, I actually... um Hamster actually got me a copy of NG Bell, so we're going to be playing that. I'm going to take a little break from visual novels because I got Alone in the Dark. And I want to play through Alone in the Dark. But I'm really excited. I heard the combat is a bit clunky in Alone in the Dark, but I've also heard people say Alan Wake 2's controls are clunky and they weren't, so it's like, is it clunky? Or is it the player? Anyways, <laughs> I'm not shading people. They also told me if I get home and it doesn't work, that I could bring it back and get a full refund. That is a good retro store. That's a good store. It can be a lot. Yeah, it can be. Like, just for my voice and stuff. Plus, I've been waiting for Alone in the Dark since, like, October. And... Yeah, I'm just gonna, like, rest my voice, um... But yeah, I'm like really excited. Like, I can smell the new game smell. But yeah, I'm like super excited. It's gonna be fun. Like, from what people are saying about it, they said it gives like old school horror. Like, it's it really rings true to the Lone in the Dark series, like the first game. The voice acting is clunky, they said, which kind of weird. But. You know, you can't be perfect. Did you get any of the game- Oh, fuck. Sorry, I just dropped alone in the dark. Did you get any of the games on that Humble bun Bundle, Horror Bundle? Um, so I didn't, no. Um, a lot of the ones I would like to get are for the collabs. And it's kind of like, mm, I don't really have people to collab with. It's- for me, collabs are really hard, and like, it's very hard for me to focus on the game, on the people I'm collabing with, and chat. So I'm I'm still deciding. Also, I, I don't know if anyone would want to play those games with me, is another thing. 
So I'm just gonna wait it out a little bit and see. Every game is clunky, it adds to the fun. Yeah, I'm just really excited about the story. It just looks so beautiful. I need to- okay, I'm gonna put Alone in the Dark away. Saw the Demonologist trailer on Steam, it looked good. I did a lot of Demonologist collabs last summer. <laughs> it was fun, I really enjoyed Demonologist. But then they like did an update and it like broke the game. So like for all the vocal ones, it just wasn't registered. The last time I played, I was playing with my um, friend Kato. And like, we're both American. And like our accents, we couldn't like... Like, none of the um, vocal stuff was working for us. And then some other people were coming into the chat and they're like, Yeah, I played this recently too, and like the vocal stuff isn't working. Because I thought it was our accents. I don't really have an accent, I don't think. But I feel like a lot of people who say I don't have an accent, you do have an accent. Everyone has an accent. It's just everyone sounds like this. People don't sound like me, but, you know. <laughs> similar but it just was not clicking yeah there's like voice commands there's like stuff you can say on the wall and it will like pop up i don't have an accent i'm a monotone robot i mean you have a robotic accent then you know <laughs> And yet, this is obviously the third floor. I'm gonna have to cut so much out of this VOD, too. I talk too much. I'm so sorry. If we're not hallucinating and this is real, then there are two possibilities. One is that all the floors above third floor are intentionally made to look like the third floor. That is... The other is that some mysterious power is stopping people from going to the fourth floor. But telling her that will only make things worse. Um, how about we give up on the fourth floor for now? We'll just search the other places we can get to. Y yeah, sure. I mean, we've already searched here. I guess let's go to the lobby. A smash collab? Like a Super Smash Brothers collab? <laughs> oh, like a video. Okay, okay, I see. I understand that. <laughs> What's this? It's a display case holding various products. A painting is clearly out of place among them. Masquerade wife. It's a picture of a masked woman wearing a wedding gown. Hmm, they all have the same name, but they all look different. That's weird. It's the door to the elevator. I can feel the pure chaos. I endorse it. <laughs> Can we wear the wedding gown? I think it would throw the ghost off. <laughs> we would just terrify the ghost away from us. I tried pulling on the elevator door. It moves slightly if I put all my weight into it. But based on what I can see from the window, the elevator isn't on this floor. Opening it just makes it easier to fall to the bottom. Well... Hmm... Okay, let's leave the hotel! Huh. So we explored all that we could in the hotel. Maybe I go back to the mansion. Because I know sometimes to proceed you have to go back to the mansion. Well, maybe not. If we don't return soon, that jerk of a PI is going to complain again. 
Hero is right. We're still investigating. We'll head back to Masquerade after we rest. Hmm. So I am missing something? Also, look at all my save files. <laughs> making sure that's the correct save file. I still can't believe that happened. Just remember, given to temptation <laughs> to scare the ghost. Maybe something changed in the room. Oh, did I click? Yeah, I clicked on that before. Um, did I miss something? No. A uh, hero can't lift that. Trash can. That was such a mess. <laughs> I must have pissed them off or something. God. At least I had video to see what happened, you know? If I didn't have video, I'd be like, what happened? What happened? So at least I'm glad I had the video, you know? Hey, there's nothing in here. Hmm. It's a small... <sighs> spoon? I take out the spoon. Okay, well I thought maybe I could break into it. I do have a credit card though. Does it work? I'm just trying to break into this drawer, okay? <laughs> I can't use a spoon, I can't use a credit card to open it up, like, what? What am I supposed to do? Where... Is it? What goes here? Nothing. What's... Do I have to do anything in the toilet? No. Hmm. There's not much we can really do. Did I go to the right room? I think I did. I did. Sorry, all the rooms look the same. Oh, oops, my bad. We have to go back to go forward. Go up. All right. Let's go to the weird dungeon. Has to be something I'm missing here. Can I open the door with the credit card? Okay. Can I open it with the spoon? It was different text and I got so excited. I've taken it out, but I can't think of a way to use it. Use it against the wall. <laughs> what am I mi- Do I need to break in here? No. What stage is this one? What do you mean stage? Um, I thought there's a fake flower. Oh, wait. No. Is there something in the bathroom? Wait, what's that? Is that a trash can? Oh. Toilet paper is stuck to the bottom of the trash can. But other than that, it's empty. Oh. I got so excited. 
thin layer of dust coats the mirror. What am I missing? Help is on the way, Mrs. Doubtfire, help me! Mrs. Doubtfire and I doing the Titanic little thing when they're doing that. I never under... I never understood that part of the movie where they're just, like, doing that arm thing, you know? <laughs> I never understood it. Object, mm-hmm, iron cover. Electrical device, okay. What am I missing? What am I missing? Oh, shit, forgot. Back to go forward. Okay. There doesn't seem to be a way to go up. Yep. What am I missing? I guess we go down. Did we? Even Hero advocated for smashing the chest to bits, but no, we can't do that. I know, right? The spoon will be useful one day. Maybe. Maybe I throw it at someone's head. Hmm. Wait, what's this? It's an object with a metal cover? I think it's some kind of electrical device. Oh. This has the mirror, not the mirror, the image. Yeah, Masquerade Wife. What am I missing? I have to be missing something. A chandelier? Okay. It's dusty, spoiling its beauty. We've already looked at that. Seeing if I'm missing anything. That's a trash can, nothing there. I can't do this because I need, um, it's like too heavy and Hero won't help. Do I use the spoon? Suddenly I get an idea. I take out the spoon. I stick it between the bed and the floor and try to pull out whatever's underneath it. But the object is softer than I thought and I can't get it out. Looks like that won't work. You might have to lift up the bed. I tried pulling on it, but it doesn't budge. I'll have to lift the bed up a little more if I want to get it out. Glance over at Hero, but... I don't think she'd be able to help me lift it. Maybe I should just search elsewhere. Phone wire's been cut... That's the same, hmm. This is like the bad thing. Can't find what I need to do. There's nothing in here. Nothing there, nothing here. Hmm. I'm a little concerned, because this is very early on in this chapter, and I can't find what I can do next. It has to be something. Uh, 
already checked the dresser drawer. Um, um, it has to be... Where? Okay, nothing on this floor. Where? This is the second floor. Am I missing something here? I'm... I must be missing something on the third floor. It's not that. I already looked at that. Maybe I have to go to the, um, floor that the elevator's on? Hang on. Go down. And maybe I use the spoon to pry it open? Hang on, hang on. Hang on, I might be cooking. Um, the credit card? Ugh. <sighs> Okay, well. My thought. We have to do something with that box. What am I missing? What's over here? This is just the normal room. That's the vase. Nothing up there. There ha- what am I missing? I'm like concerned now. We already looked at that trash can. This has the, um, handprint. There has to be something I'm missing. Uh... Wait. I take the key ring out of my bag to check and see if any of the keys fit, but none of them seem to work. Well, that... What do I all have? Nope, wrong one. Credit card, spoon, and guest book. Um. Hang on. Yes? Ah. Uh. I'm really stuck here. Hmm. I'm just gonna go slowly. Anything new? Anything new? <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I cannot believe. I just can't, like, find anything. Like, there's something. <sighs> I 
I don't want to look up a guide. I really don't, but... I just can't believe I can't find anything. It totally stumped me for a bit when I replayed this chapter. It's really crazy. But like there's, hmm. It has to be something. It's not the mirror. It's not the toilet. That's where we found the credit card. <laughs> Nothing's in here. Hmm. Oh, my back. I wasn't just in this room, right? Can't do anything about the bed. We can't open up that chest. Nothing to do there. This is where we found the credit card. No, that's the toilet that smells horrible. Okay. missing that does nothing that does nothing that just goes up yes nothing There has to be something in this room. It's the only weird looking one. That one you can't use your items on. I don't think you can use this for any items. No. Nope, I didn't mean to click that again. I can't open up the door. Huh. I can't do anything on that wall. Nothing over here. What's the... F Is there something in here? Maybe... Nothing, okay. I thought maybe something changed, but no. Okay. That's the trash can that has toilet paper in it. That has the wiped handprint. That has nothing. You know, I'm surprised this toilet has nothing, because the other two toilets had something. But yeah, nothing. I might need to look up a guide. Because I cannot find anything. Give me a second. I have to look up a guide. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm so sorry.
credit card. Option two, nightstand. It's telling me to use the credit card on the nightstand, but we tried that. I tried using the credit card on the nightstand. So I'm a little confused. This is what the walkthrough is telling me. And I, I, I tried to use the spoon and the credit card on the nightstand. This is not the room. Credit card. I take out the credit card, but what do I do with it? I don't have any particularly good ideas. You tried using it, but do you know why you're trying to use it? Yeah, so I can open the drawer. Wait a minute. Are you telling me I need to feel the nightstand again to activate? No. That's what the guide says. You have to use the credit card on it. I mean, it's a nice looking chest. What am I missing? <laughs> what am I missing? Death Mark, Spirit Hunter, Chapter 6, Credit Card. <laughs> I gotta really dumb it down for me. Hold up the mattress and then you have to look at the box. Is the mattress connected? No, that wasn't it. Wait. We can all see this chest looks amazing. Mattress box chest? Wait! I don't think that was selectable before.
Mattress. Oh god, that scared me. Drawer. Credit card? All the intricate details on the chest? There's like nothing on the chest though. Red and gold around them? Red and gold? Am I getting banned for what? <laughs> no, I, I need help with this. So you're fine. I mean, they look nice. Yeah, we checked the window. It just talks about the bars. So that doesn't work. Gold, red, oh. We can feel why the chest is locked, but do we know why it's locked? I mean... No, because it's a game? <laughs> no. No, that's not what I wanted. Nope, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm gonna- You're gonna have to really, really dumb it down for me, because I cannot get this. Are you sure there's no way to see why the chest is locked? I mean... Why it's locked? Hang on. I got everything before the credit card. This has to be something super easy that I'm not getting. Have we taken a look at why it is? I think we've looked at everything. I 
I'm not missing anything from before. Under the bed? So we tried to do that, but I need someone to lift it up and Hero isn't going to do that for me. Are you absolutely positive we've seen everything about the chest? Um, I mean, that's... That's the only thing we get on it. Like, the only selectables are the window, the chest, the bed, bathroom door, and that. Taking a good look see and all I think like <sighs> it won't let me select the trash can it, oh, it's not letting me select anything. Oh, oh no. What? There we go. I'm running out of hints. Honestly, if you just want to tell me what I need to do right away... I would be happy with that. Because <laughs> your girl is struggling. <laughs> you can spoil this one for me. Because <laughs> there is no way. That I'm getting this. I'm looking at the guide, and I did everything before, so I don't know, like, what. So the only thing I should have gotten was the emergency keys, the mask notebook, spoon and credit card, which is what I have. No, no, take a look. Take a look at the chest? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This is the text that I needed. I swear to God, you've... Do we even use look in the other chapters? I don't remember using look at all. I use feel a lot, but I don't remember using look. Who d who decided this? Whoever wrote this puzzle, I want to sue you. <laughs> no, no, you were fine. I was not going to get it. The walkthrough pretty much says stick the card in. I would have been here all night, so I am a-okay with it. I am a-okay with it. I was struggling. It's like that one part in Hanahiko all over again? Honestly, I... I didn't think Hanahiko had any bad parts, right? I think Hanahiko was pretty decent. Huh. <sighs> What are you going to do with the credit card? What I should have done a long time ago. I'm, I'm going to have to cut this out of the VOD. <laughs> I can't have people think I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I want to try something. I don't know if it'll work. It will me. It will. Okay. Let me get out of the walkthroughs.
Why is my mouse being so dumb? It's like not clicking things. I wonder if my mouse is dying. <laughs> it, I hope it's not. I think my mouse is dying. Hang on. Let me get my other mouse. I hope it works. Why is that zero percent? The stupid mouse, my expensive one, doesn't work. I hate it so much. <laughs> it feels so nice, but it's just such a crappy mouse. Like, it doesn't like to charge or anything. I kind of need the mouse. See, now it's acting like it's charging, but, like, I can't use it. This is so sad. A crowbar? I know, right? Like, if you're going into abandoned place, at least take a crowbar or something. Does it work? I slowly push the card into the locked gap between the drawer and the top. It's a narrow fit, but I'm able to slide it in without resistance. The stopper is directly ahead, so if I keep sliding the card, there's a tiny bit of resistance, then it abruptly unlocks. Wow, nice work. Truly the pinnacle of monkey evolution. Hero, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> Guys, why did we suddenly jump to all of a sudden the next part? <laughs> did the video get lost? <laughs> We're gonna have to delete the VOD. So you only see the fake VOD. Hello, Lappy. Welcome, welcome. You're not late. You are not late at all. You are perfectly fine. Ugh. I Seriously, I don't think you use look in any other instance in this game, right? Because I always do feel. I never do look. Is that really a compliment? No, it's not. It's not. <laughs> I, I, I passed it. But I don't feel accomplished. I just feel like an idiot. You use it similarly like once in chapter one, but that's really it when it comes to trigger a puzzle. Do you do it in chapter one? I it's been a hot minute since I did the Hanahiko chapter. Which I'm gonna have to do again because I wanna platinum this game. How long was I on that puzzle? It is almost eleven o'clock and I start my streams. I start my streams at eight. <laughs> We got a mask, guess. Okay, we we got a little mini massager. Um, what what mini mas what massager? A battery operated massager, huh? Well, I'll leave it up to the. Okay, so it's one of those. Okay, okay. <laughs> we would have been stuck on this all night <laughs> if it wasn't for Bell. We would have been stuck. So there are more guest books after all. Let's see, what does it say? No, 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 I'll look through this one. I firmly take the guest book from Hero. I just learned that it's better to not let her see anything too shocking. Aw, oh, come on, I wanna read through it for future reference. What do you mean future reference? Our investigation takes priority. I quickly flip through the pages, looking for a clue similar to what we found earlier. It doesn't take me long to find it. It's the last entry in the guest book, just like the other one we found. Something's up. The fuzz hasn't come. Did, did Ko really tattle? Mr. N is acting normally, too. Sa uh, has it been to school recently? That's all I can make out. Hmm, sounds like the one we read earlier. This fully support supports my theory. Yeah, I guess so. There was definitely criminal activity going on here. Those vivid entries prove it. 
But why wasn't this reported? Good question. Probably because the cops are in on it. <laughs> this entry makes it sound like she was being backed into a corner. Someone was plainly threatening to tattle. And it was someone they knew too. They wouldn't be this shaken otherwise. And supposedly this person reported it to Teach too. And the entry says that in the end, the fuzz, aka the police, never came. We can't come to a conclusion yet. Oh, yes we can. 100%. The police are probably in on it. That's why they don't want to, like, break down the operation. Get the extra money. All we can do is speculate. Oh, what is that? <laughs> we both freeze for a moment. All is silent. It sounded like someone's bones broke. I hope they weren't mine. Was there a noise from above just now? Girl, I don't know. And at this point, I don't care. Yeah, someone might be... Oh god, they're in the vents. On the third floor? No one was around there when we were there earlier. Should we go see? I silently nod. I silently shake my head and we leave the hotel. <laughs> Half lurking. <laughs> what is this, dead space? Oh god. I don't have a gun. Alright. Now we can proceed. Oh my god. Alright, who's there? Hello? The incident I stepped foot on the third floor. Oh shit. I hit Q instead of A. My bad. I suddenly get a chill and stop in my tracks. Okay. Hmm? Did you find something? No! Nothing. Just as I'm replying to Hero... Sensei. Sensei? I hear a voice from behind me. And then I elbow whoever's behind me. I quickly turn around and shine my flashlight. And then I smack who's ever behind me with it. But all that's there is the door to the emergency stairs that we just came from. There's no one there. What's wrong? D did you not hear that voice? A, a girl's. The metal door screeches like a scream and... That doesn't look like the person we saw outside. That doesn't look like the person we saw outside in our group thing. Suddenly, a girl in a solid red raincoat is standing in front of us. This is- th We fight her with the spoon. 1v1 me. There she is! She's- w Wait! She's human! That- That ghost story was an utter lie. Hero, shh. Be quiet. I can hear something. Huh? A slithering whisper of a voice sneaks up to me. It's the voice of the girl in the raincoat. I'm so happy. Girl, I'm not happy. I will fight you with this spoon. Hold the flashlight, hero, and shine it on her so I can see. I knew it. I'm so glad I trusted you, sir. Sir? Hero gives me an odd look from besides me at my muttering. It seems like she can't hear the voice at all. Oh, God. Is this gonna be a ghost only I can see in here? She should wear pants if she's going to stand out in the rain for hours. Sometimes you have to sacrifice comfort for fashion. JK, I don't do that anymore. <laughs> Kat's drawing. Yeah, Kat is an amazing artist. I love the art she did. I'm 
waiting to get some printer ink so I can print out the image and then I'm gonna like put it on my sketchbook. I love it so much. <laughs> it's also my phone background. I love it. I knew. I knew it. Please don't laugh at me. She's probably like, I knew it. I knew you were an idiot. You couldn't even open that chest drawer and it's like, please stop. I knew you'd come, but sir, who is that woman? Okay, so if I came with a man, oh god, if I came with a man, what would she say? The echoey voice is like ice, but strangely enough, I don't feel hatred in it. Just sadness, regret, and a quiet plea. I'm going to make sure. Make sure? Make sure of what? This isn't the girl from that journal entry you just read. The one who was going to tattle? She did say something about teach. And the written word was sir, but her spoken word was sensei. So I'm wondering if she's the one who went missing and was gonna tattle, and then she got silenced. The logical side of me warns me not to get pulled in. The raincoat flutters in the stagnant air. Oh no! I forgot about these liver dyes. Sir, do you come to places like this? Haunted places? Yes, I went to so many haunted places. That's right, sir. I'm someone she respects. If I were someone she respects, how would I reply? Uh, I never go here. I, I, I got lost on the highway. I come with my wife. Oh. Hero, you're gonna have to be my wife. It's fine. I'm either gonna have to battle her with the spoon, or you're gonna be my wife. Just, we're gonna go the easy way. I don't think I can take her on with the spoon. Yes, of course. Hey, sir. Could you tell me, please? Another teacher told me that I'm heartless, and I don't treasure my friends. That is a shitty teacher. But if something's wrong, then it's wrong. What am I supposed to do? Girl, are you coming to me for, like, life advice right now? Have Hero- Oh my god, yes. Have Hero fight her with the spoon, and then I'll hold the flashlight, and I'll be, like, the cheerleader. I love this. Which is more important? Friends, or what's right? What's right? What's right? Yes, what's right? What's right? Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't. Yes? No? Yes? Yes! Senpai being the worst senpai in the world. Tell me one more thing, please. When people are selling and buying bad thing, what is considered a bad thing? I, I feel like this is very gray. Then who's in the wrong? Girl, I... Again, what are you buying? Which is it, Veed? <laughs> Who's in the wrong? The world is wrong! <laughs> but I live. It's generally in threes. I think I lived. I think I lived. I lived. Oh, I lived. Mm. Perfect. Just remember that rules for spoon fights. <laughs> yes, it's like um, using reapers or rapiers. I'm sorry. Why did I call it a reaper? It's a rapier. It's going to be like one of those fights and you get the outfit on and everything. I'm so happy. You're really him. All the immoral people died. Huh? 
I can see just a glimpse of a twisted smile under the darkness of her hood. Maybe if she took her hood off, she could see who I am. Who is this sir? More importantly, who in the world is this girl? Questions swirl in my head. In that second of hesitation, oh god, she's gonna run up to me. Oh, oh, you know what? Even better. The figure of the girl sways like a pendulum and disappears into the staircase. And? No, Hero! Wait, you? Hero dashes madly after her. Hero, don't go! I desperately call after her, but there's no reply. Her footsteps echo sharply up the stairs. Shit. Yeah, that, that's shit. Yeah. She's off to fight her with the spoon. Oh my god. There can only be one Highlander. I better follow her. Alright, so that means we go forward. Go up! Hero! I expected it, but sure enough, I'm back in the third floor hallway. There doesn't seem to be a way to go up on the higher floor in this hotel. Some mysterious power is at work here, but a hero dashed off to head upstairs from the third floor. Maybe she's still on this floor then? If it's impossible to get to the fourth floor, then hero could still be in one of these. Are you in the weird sex dungeon? It's not really that weird of a sex dungeon. TBH, it's kind of mid. Is this unlocked? Oh, what if I need to look at the door? Okay, well I thought maybe if I looked at the door. Okay, we'll go to the room. <gasps> oh god, maybe she's drowning her in the toilet. Oh my god, hero! Well, what the hell happened here? I step inside the guest room. Something's not right in here. Oh, you noticed! There's spider webs! Are these spider webs? They sure are. They sure are me. When I entered just a little while ago with Hero, <laughs> I entered this room like a thousand times. <laughs> there weren't any here. That is a fast working spider. It's hard to believe it, but the room is covered in spider webs now. I hear the bathroom door open. It's Hero? Oh, it's you. Hero? So this is where you went. But did Red Riding Hood escape in the toilet? Hey, uh, Hero? Are, are you listening to me? She's acting strangely. What did you see, Hero? Concerned, I move closer when... She Huh? Girl, I said pretend to be my wife. Not... No! She suddenly starts taking off her clothes. My sensor bar! Hang on! Markiplier. Hang on. Hang on. Mark? Mark? Okay, he's ready. He's ready. Hey! And then... Oh! Oh! Hey! Mark, I need to make you bigger. Oh, shit. Mark? Mark? Save me, Markiplier. There we go. Beautiful. It's beautiful. We don't know what's going on. <clears throat> Anyways. <clears throat> she looks at me seductively from on top of the bed covered in spider webs. This poor woman had... Two bad CGs. <laughs> this poor woman. The sensor is the best. Exactly. This is how I look when these scenes come up. I'm like, <gasps> <laughs> draw me like one of your French girls. <laughs> I 
I was waiting for you. I've been waiting for you for so long. Girl, I it took like two minutes. What are you doing? Every word from her lips drips honey. In contrast, my own my voice only gets shriller. This is so not like her at all. Is this really the same hero? No. Be oh gee god, she called me by name. Hello? Oh I heard there was Booba here. I'm in an ad, please wait. Oh, Markiplier is covering boobies. And the panties. And the feet. There's feet here, too. It really is the Titanic. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I'm back. Hi. Okay. Nini, I can show you. Two seconds. Boob. Hero gracefully slides over the bed and beckons me suggestively. Girl, I am- I am streaming right now. What are you trying to say? Do you understand the situation we're in? We, we shouldn't be doing this in a haunted hotel. I'm sorry, that, that's not something I'm into. At least she's not dead, right? I mean, I was only away from her for like two minutes. I don't think she can die that fast. I could be wrong, though. <laughs> what does that mean? You're here. I'm here. Isn't that enough? Is she being possessed? Uh, yes. Her pale thighs glow on the bedsheet as she poses seductively. Sedu poses seducti seductively. Jesus, I can't speak. She's go she's going really hard as acting like our wife. I was just joking about acting like my wife. I didn't mean it. She almost looks like a spider preparing to strike her prey. Girl, I don't like spiders. Oh god, I'm gonna have to 1v1 hero now. I got the spoon. We're all alone. Don't hold back. Take a good look. Ooh. The red raincoat flashes before my eyes. I don't see it. Could it be Hero is acting like this because... Is she continuing the questions from earlier? In that case, a clue would be... Remember, what did she say before? What? What do you mean what she said before? <laughs> Go on. Look. Girl, um, no. I am... No. Have some shame. I am your senpai. That's what I thought. I am your senpai. You put your clothes back on. It's not one of those games. <laughs> How cute. Okay, you're coughing now? Hero suddenly starts coughing violently. It, it's hard to breathe. Please, my... Is there a spider on your back? My back? Pat your back. Smack the back and smack the spider. The instant I touch her, her coughing stops. That feels good. Girl! But, but, I know. Hero suddenly, suddenly lowers her voice. Are people only coming here for the booba? <laughs> Do people only come for my streams for the booba? I tried hard during college and at work not to lose to men, but I'm all alone in the end. No one ever looks my way. I'm sure you're not interested in someone like me either, Beam. I like mature women. I depend on you? What does this mean? 
I died. I told Happy. Oh, she. Oh, no. Hero's lips twist bewitchingly, then. Something falls on my head. Oh, God, it's a spider. Oh, I couldn't show you my death scene. Those damn boobs. If you say that, that's calling her old and no woman li No, I mean like mature woman. And she's not mature. That's what I thought. Death by Booba. Yeah, it was. Step into the guest room. We don't need to see this. We've already done this. Booba scene again. Yep. More boobs. Mark has no place here. Show the assets. <laughs> if I get banned off Twitch... I will be so sad. I know people do a lot worse, but you know. <laughs> you will get one second of booba. This is all you get. Now it's Markiplier. All right, girl, let's go. We're just running through it. Wait, have some shame? Yeah, have some shame was this one. Banned? How exactly? Are they less tolerant for smaller streamers? Because I've seen worse. So from like what I see, if you're a big streamer, you're generally pretty safe. And you get unbanned in a day or so. <laughs> so. That's how I see it. Twitch hates VTubers. Yeah, pretty much. They don't like us. <laughs> the hot tub category. Yeah, it's... Yeah. Not only that, but I'm also streaming on YouTube, and I also have YouTube VODs. So, you know, I, I gotta be careful. So we need to get a billion plus followers so Bean is untouchable. <laughs> I don't think that will ever happen, but thank you. <laughs> The green screen. Yeah, the, yeah those, those streams. Kind of a horror version of a beach episode, kinda. Nini, how many people told you about these boobs? I mean, Nini, how many people have you told about these? Like, how many? I didn't tell Say, I promise. <laughs> It was the same wording that Happy and you did! <laughs> someone else- someone else- Who is leaking my content? <laughs> I came here for the boobs and will stay for the boobs. <laughs> Happy- oh my gosh. I told Say he wouldn't regret coming to the stream. <laughs> you guys are only using me for my booba. <laughs> my booba! <laughs> Okay, I need to get through this. I, I need to get Mark off the screen. I keep looking out of the corner of my eye and I just see Markiplier. All right, so this one, what is this? I depend on you. What is this one? I guess I'm gonna die. Don't die, 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 don't die. Oh, thank God. If you get tired of Mark, use Grandma. <laughs> I think Mark is really adding to the scene. Honestly, this is what I look like whenever these um, interesting scene comes up. This is what I look like <laughs> whenever they come up. Oh, hello, Val. Who is who is saying I am the booba provider? Okay, here, boobs. <laughs> there is boobs. <laughs> now I must hide it. <laughs> Quick. This, this is a say-so stream, you guys. This is oh so say-so. <laughs> so say-so. 
But honestly, <laughs> this is actually a very tame version of her scene. She had a much, much quote unquote sexier one in her chapter. <laughs> this is a cozy stream. This is a cozy stream, you guys. Nini made me do it. Paid actor. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Val. So sorry. Being cozy is for real. <laughs> Thank you. Well, since we're already here, do you guys want to see the other scene with her? We're already here. Let me find it. I will find it for you guys. Also, Mark, don't sue me for using your face. I'm either going to get banned from Twitch for the boobs, I'm or I'm going to get sued by Mark. Don't sue me, Mark. Please. I am too broke. You don't want my money. I don't have any. Please. Hang on. Where is- Did someone clip that scene with her? I can't- You can't with Mark looking at- No, this is like a sexy look. Like, this is the- the face of sex. Look at that. Just look at that. Just look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Mark looking at me like that because of the weird things I say. <laughs> a wide mark, yes. We can make him a bit skinnier. Meow. Oh, I need to. Hang on. <laughs> Did someone clip the hero scene? Like the first hero scene? Does anyone remember? I know we clipped the um chapter one scene, but did we clip hero? I'm sorry I'm showing you in this position, hero. Um well I found the first one. I'll open it up if you guys want to watch. I'm sorry, I'm not a pro streamer. <laughs> Did we? No, where is it? It was clipped, right? I don't think so. I thought we did. Why is there so many clips on my channel? <laughs> What's that? Oh. <laughs> I was like, why is there Mark here? Where? Hang on, I'm sorry guys. I... Not top, just 30 days. Here it- no. Yes, here. I found it. I feel like this clip is a lot- Hang on, I will show you. Give me like two seconds. I have to... We're streamer right here. Uh, where is my... Is this it? Hang on, what's this? Whoop! <laughs> no one saw that. Okay. Come over here. Is it not showing? Hang on. <laughs> Stop farting, you guys. It's disgusting. No fear farts. Okay, so... Boink. Ignore my ugly... Mark, you're in the way. Hang on. Oh, I have a better idea. Hang on, Mark. I'm gonna take you away. There we go. There we go. Okay, can you see the screen? I can't tell if you can see the screen. But we'll play it. This is her first screen. It's called Hinta, and it's art. You know what? You're not wrong. You're not wrong. But yeah, this one was much more um out there. It, it's. I haven't played NG or the second one. But I feel like this is the most hardcore one there is. Also, I feel like it might be a bit better. 
But what do I know? Oh shit! Mark? Not you too, New. New, what are you? Who told you? Who is this? Who? Guys, why are you? Please! Please! I do have legs, I do. But yes. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. I'm. I am a say so streamer. I don't know what you guys are talking about. I mean. You know, technically, I didn't buy this game. I was gifted this game. So technically, I am say-so. I am oh so say-so. Hero shrill laugh pitches into madness? Hey, get it together. Oh, Val, thank you for the follow. Wait, are, are you only following from the booba? <laughs> I, s I swear I don't play. I don't play these games. <laughs> Please! <laughs> I- I shake her shoulders repeatedly, but she doesn't reply. I like the vibes. <laughs> the chaotic vibes of me censoring the boob. It can't be. Is she? Her personality has suddenly and dramatically shifted in this crazy laughter. Cold sweat drips down my neck. I know. <laughs> the booba. It, people just come for the booba. It's so sad. It's so sad. We're not here for the toes or feet. We're here for the booba. This is almost like... What's going on? Is someone in here? Like, her feet are showing. They are. You just can't see it because of the text. Damon! Hello, Damon. Is it... Oh, this is... This is how I look at him when he came into the room. I'm like... Oh, Damon! Please! Mocha, no! <laughs> no, I feel like I'm... Oh, Mocha, you missed the booba! The booba is gone. I'm sorry. We have Damon, though. It, I'm so sorry. You- it was like five seconds and you missed the booba. It's for the better. I'm sorry, I'm late. I rushed over as soon as the emergency patient was stable. You have to show it by law and peer pressure? <laughs> May maybe the booba will come back. Hang on. Hello, Priv. Welcome. Also, welcome on in, everyone. I'm so sorry. Did something happen? Do you not see a half-naked woman on the bed? I I'm not sure, but... I quickly tell Damon what's going on. Because clearly he cannot see. He swiftly examines the laughing hero and turns to me with his findings. No physical trauma, but her mind's confused. She needs to be hospitalized. Oh, that's what you took out of this situation. Okay. Okay. We're on the third floor. How do we get her out? I, I don't want to touch her. I've learned a patient carry. We just need to get her on our back. I don't want her on my back. I don't know what she's going to do. <laughs> Can Mark be a toggle for these situations? If I can ever figure out how to do it, I will do it. <laughs> there. My sensor bar is ready. Come, we need to hurry. If she's been poisoned, then time is everything. I don't think she's been poisoned. Right, I'll help. You just touch her and grab her and get her out. Wait, are we gonna put clothes on her? Damon, hang on. Before before we leave the love hotel, maybe we should put clothes on her. Damon being the true Chad for actually making sure she's okay. I know, right? What a good gentleman. What a good gentleman. I forgot it was in a hotel. Oh, I, I remember this was a <laughs> this was a love hotel. 
know the booba. I know the booba. You know what? We can look at the other images, or the clips. Hang on. We will look up the other clips, because Mocha missed the boob. Give me two seconds. I have to, like, figure out what I'm doing. Uh, we can expose myself, too. <laughs> I can expose myself this way. Give me that. Okay, that one. Oh, we have this one. This was in chapter one. Okay, does that make it worse? Okay, I, I move out of the way so you can see. Yeah, yeah, you can see that. Deathmark is so gracious to give us a gallery. Yeah. Yeah, so th it's n you don't really get the booba. You do get something else though. Wait, Bean. Oh, God, yes. Do I have Birdly here? Hang on, hang on. What's the hiding the video? Am I hiding the video? Wait. Guys, this is why I can't be a streamer. I think I'm too dumb. Can you see it now? I think I am too dumb to be a streamer. Does that make it worse. <laughs> I don't know if it makes it worse. This is horrible. What do I do? I it, it, it looks and I thought I this color, was bad. It? Yeah, there was no saving this. Do I have Birdly here? Hang on, hang on. What's so that was that one. This is the other one. TOS, TOS. <laughs> I know, right? Mocha, are you here? Here is the boob! It's better boob. It's better booba. You have to be quick, because I'm fast to censor. But yeah. See, I didn't know about these. I was just like, yay, fun horror game. And then... <gasps> I could show Shimio too, because his boobs were out too. Oh my god. I could definitely do that. <laughs> I don't think anyone would be happy about that, but... It'd be that way. <laughs> I won't do that to you guys. I'll be nice. The game of all time. There's a second game. There's NG and number two. And I'm wondering, I'm wondering if NG and the second game are like this. That sentence just caught me off guard. What did I say? Yeah, Shimio. Dude, his boobies were out. He was all like, hey guys, I'm here. That was the only, in that chapter, that was like the only sexy moment in that chapter like sexy horror. I, I guess that's what they're going for, is like sexy horror. And you know what? Shimio was it for chapter two. And that's also when Sho died and he ruined my run through and I had to replay the game again. Oh, the trauma. Anyways. Oh, yeah, have a good night, hamster. I'm sorry, I did not. Why are they all naked? I don't know, Mimi. I don't know why they're naked. I'm just here to play a game. And G doesn't really have any sexy horror CGs. Oh, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm disappointed. I am disappointed. I wonder if they like toned it down because of this game. I am disappointed. Exactly. Sho didn't die, he absolutely lived. I don't know what you guys are talking about. He lived. I have proof that he lived. We're, we're in the DLC. We wouldn't be in the DLC if he died. <laughs> the CGs aren't bad. See, now I'm curious. I want to... What if I... What if I look up an NG CG right now? <laughs> I'm just gonna look up one. 
I'm gonna look up one. I I'm gonna be quick. It's, oh, it's just a cop with a turtle on him. I think that's a cop. That's lame. That was a lame one. <laughs> What's, okay, okay, I said one. I said one. That is the only one I'm getting. NG is on sale right now for the Switch. Yeah, definitely. That's actually a decent price. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I need to get back to the game. Like, I have not been playing the game. I am so sorry, everyone. I'm... I'm gonna pretend I'm a... I'm a good streamer. It's your fault. No, it's okay. We can share the booba. Everyone can share the booba. It's fine. Everyone needs booba in their life. In the end, Hero kept cackling as we carried her out of the hotel. We put her in an ambulance and Damien rode with her to the hospital. Well, I hope the ambulance people weren't like, Okay, two men just came out of a haunted love hotel with a half-naked woman. And there's something wrong with her. I wonder what happened. Like, I know they did. Just be sure... Just be sure to leave room for Mark. Exactly. When you're dancing, leave room for Markiplier instead of Jesus. Have you guys ever heard that quote? It's weird. The siren blasts through the night. Exhaustion bears down on me and I find that I need to sit down. When I come back to my senses, I look up. And if I see Mashida, I'm gonna scream. Oh, okay. The rain has already stopped. The moment I get back to the mansion, I collapse on the sofa, where the crazy doll was sitting. We need to burn that sofa. Yuri raises within me, without an outlet. Why? Why is this happening again? Okay, it's not happening again. We don't have any marks on us. I mean, technically, I have a mark on me. But, you know, it's not a killer mark. It's just a markiplier. I'm sure I sealed Mary. So then why? Why again? I'm curious. In the second game, I wonder if Mary... pops up again, or if she's still in the box like... Mm. The image of Hero earlier fixes in my mind. I have to do something. Something. Her shrill laugh echoes in my ears. I love how it tells me what I need to do when it's like, I've, I've been doing this for the entire game. I st what should I do? We're gonna rest for today. That's right, I have to investigate again tomorrow. Once I'm done looking for things, I should go to bed early. This is so weird, like... Looking it up, I realize the game is really gory. I think Booba is the least concerned. Oh, it's, it's kind of gory. It... Oh, there was actually a censored part in this game. Um, I was talking about it earlier in... I keep looking at my OBS screen and I keep seeing Mark. I'm kind of getting... Terrified. It's like, ooh, Mark. <laughs> they did censor it, so I can actually show the image of what would have made this game an adults-only game. Are you ready? If you don't like bugs, especially spiders, look away. I will give you 10 seconds. That was 10 seconds. I am sh I'm showing it. This is the image <laughs> that would have made the game adults only. And we looked up the definition for adults only and it was prolonged violence, nudity and violence, nudity there was a third one. I think it was like, it was something. Yes, 
This would have made the game adult only. Sorry, I just flashbanged everyone with that. Um, yeah. In the game, it just, like, censors it. And it's interesting. I see worse on Google Images. Like, I just don't understand. Exactly. It's not in the image. It's... The only thing I can think of is maybe the sound makes it sexual. Wait, I miss Markiplier staring lovingly at me. Also, howdy bean, what's up? <laughs> oh, people only, people only love me because of Markiplier and boobs. <laughs> that reminds me of this hilarious image of Markiplier. Someone like photoshopped Markiplier and then they put like massive boobs on him. <laughs> It was amazing. But anyways. Yes. Sorry. I, I don't understand why it would have been made adults only, but what do I know? Like, there's so much work. Like, I was talking about this. Like, Baldur's Gate 3. Like, it's... There's absolute sex scenes in there. They don't censor that stuff. But I think it might be because you can't go around that um, cutscene with the bug. But you can get around most of the stuff in Boulder's Gate. So that might be it. I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> I am just a silly streamer. Oh my god. It's 1140 and I have not gotten far in this game. What have I been doing? I hear the rumble of something heavy moving around as I'm half asleep. Is someone there? I swear to God, if Mary comes up. My brain is too sluggish for thought. I couldn't say how long I slept. I remember it being dawn, but... A loud noise makes me spring upright. Young eyes are staring at me. I'm so sorry. I woke you up. What are you doing in my house, child? See, I need to lock the doors. Suzu? What are you doing here? The room was messy, so I thought I'd clean it for you. What are you doing here, in my house? Who let you in? Sorry I didn't ask permission first. That's not exactly what I meant. Oh, are you awake? Jeez, are you a little too careless? Christy! What? Christy, you're here too? She shrugs and sighs dramatically, very nearly rolling her eyes at me. Oh god, am I going to the hotel with Christy? Oh god. Where are these people coming from? That's what I'm saying! Do, like, do people not understand? Just some slight breaking and entering. Nothing strange. Just some light breaking and entering. Nothing wrong. Nothing wrong at all. You left the front door unlocked. Okay. So you just opened it and walked in? Just because it's unlocked does not mean you can walk in. Do your friends not break into your house to clean your room? You would need friends to do that. <laughs> Were you out investigating until late? It's not good to sleep on a sofa. Okay, girl, you don't know my life. My sofa's comfy. I guess I didn't have the energy to make it up to my bedroom last night. Was I that tired? Yeah, something like that. Take better care of yourself. Oh, you want some coffee? No, I'm fine for now. More impor importantly, why are you here? It's a common thing in small southern Asian countries, especially small towns. Uh-uh. If I am sleeping and I wake up and someone is cleaning my house, uh-uh. Uh-uh. Yeah, have a good night, Egg. Thank you for stopping on by. I'm so sorry I, like, missed half the comments and everything. 
and I'm going on rambling rants. It's not rant, it's just me talking. But yeah, I do that a lot with this game and I do apologize. <laughs> oh, thank you for the follow, Master Panda. Thank you, thank you. Christy glances over at me and huffs. I'm dropping off reports from Mr. Detective. Oh, Mashita. Mr. Detective? It must be research for Mashita's case. But who'd have thought Christy would listen to a request from Mashita? That man is the worst. The attitude he had when asking for a favor. If I didn't owe you, I'd flat out have told him no. Guess she didn't agree because she wanted to. Everyone just hates Mashita. <laughs> I understand, but why is Suzu here? I told her about my visit and invited her. We exchanged numbers a while back. Um, Kinda weird. A woman in her late 20s, 30s, exchanging her phone number with a 8-year-old? A little weird. Yes, yeah, she certainly surprised me, suddenly asking to be friends. It's the first time I've been friends with an adult. Uh. Christy, Christy whispers to me. I mean, I can't help but be worried. I have to make sure that creepy otaku isn't doing anything weird to her. Okay, you know what? I'm sure he is harmless. They go after children's... You can say that about anyone, Christy. What the hell? You can say that about any person. So that's why. She was worried because Ida's so forward. No, more likely because Suzu is too innocent. But I'm a little relieved. You didn't seem very well when I was here before, so I've been worried. Yes, it seems you're fine now. I wish Ida could have come with us. But he's working at the factory today. It sounds like Ida started working seriously. So he can pay for his idol stuff, hello? Being a weeb is not cheap. It's never too late to start something. I hope he tries hard. So moving on to the matter at hand. You heard how the owner of that hotel went missing, right? Yeah. I have connections with the copy editor of that article, so I asked her- Ooh! And sure enough, yeah? Her expression clouds over. Okay. The hotel and the rumors of its illegal services were juicy news for the media. Uh-huh. They even knew that there was a mediator organization managing it. Okay. The reporters looking into the flow of cash actually got some concrete proof. Okay. This telling of the story is fascinating because Christy used to be in the media herself. The things recorded in the guest books we found may have been connected, but before we talk more about it... Suzu, sorry, but would you mind doing some more cleaning? Away from us? <laughs> I've been putting it off for a long time, so the second floor is a giant mess too. Oh, okay, I can do that. I'll borrow your cleaning surprise then. We're just forcing this child to clean our house. But you know, I'd, I'd rather her clean my house than have to listen to what we're gonna talk about. Christy seems to immediately catch on. Not exactly a topic for children's ears, huh? I'm sorry, I didn't realize. No, it's really messy up there. Anyways, tell me more. Yes, so the media at the time should have been pursuing the heart of the matter, but it's like this case would, was hardly reported on because there was people in the media who had like little their little fingers in this crime little group thingy. The media caught wind of the story, so the police should have been briefed on it as well. The police are in on it too. And yet what took place is masquerade is shrouded in darkness. Uh-huh. It seems like something's behind all this, okay? Behind? What do you mean? I don't know if this is true or not, okay? But they had a whole list of all masquerades customer. Mmm. Okay. Yeah, that. They would really want to cover that up. 
Famous politicians and businessmen were on it, doesn't surprise me. And that reporter who got the proof up and went missing, that doesn't surprise me either. A number of freelancers on the case also went missing, apparently. I don't think they went missing, I think they're dead. That's horrible. Those are the only words I can find to describe it. You're telling me. It's an outrage to silence those who are seeking the truth. It's bad, but it'd at least be a little better if it was the work of regular humans. The work of regular humans? What do you mean by that? Exactly what it sounds like. The truth is... I tell Crispy a... <laughs> Crispy? I tell Christy about what happened yesterday. What we found in the hotel, what happened to Hero. The color drains from Christy's face until she's as white as a sheet. Suzu, we're leaving. With her sudden yell, Christy stands up and prepares to leave. W what's wrong? No one told me. What? No one said a single thing about spirits like that being involved. I'm sorry, but I can't do this. I'm never going to face a spirit again. And I'm not just thinking about me. I don't want Suzu going through that either. Thinking about it, it makes sense. No one has the right to drag Christy and Suzu into a case like this, especially me. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to get you involved. The research you've done is enough, so don't concern yourself about it anymore. Christy looks at me in stunned surprise. No, I should be the one apologizing. I owe you. You did everything you could do to save us. But we... Is something the matter? Suzu re-entered the room. Head tilted it in confusion. I just remembered something I have to do, so we need to leave. Sorry. You can keep cleaning next time, okay? Okay, I understand. Suzu nods, though she looks suspicious. She's very perceptive. She has to have picked up the strained air between us. Well then, see you later, Bean. Great, thanks for coming all this way. You were a great help. I'm very grateful. Christy quickly bows to me, her expression inscrutable. Excuse me. I'll come again sometime, okay? Suzu puts her hands together and bows politely. Then she whispers in my ear so Christy can't overhear what. I'm so sorry. I caught a little bit of what you were talking about earlier. Oh, God. So I contacted Ida. I'm sure he'll be helpful. Oh, I mean, Ida's, like, on the bulletin boards and stuff, so he should be able to, like, pick up information. To be honest, I can't imagine Ida being very useful. Rude! He can be useful. But Suzu has good intentions, so I nod. Thanks, that helps. So we've... I think the only pers people we haven't really met um, was Yoso Oka, Sho, Banshee. I think those are the only three we haven't seen yet. I can't wait to see Banshee again. I love Banshee. <laughs> I need to get ready soon and head out. All right. We're gonna saves. Let's go to Masquerade. I didn't think it would go for two days straight. Yeah, it's really weird having like a multiple day investigation. Like in the earlier chapters, it was just, you get a few hours and then you could die. <laughs> But it's sprinkling again tonight. I love the jazz music. Does that mean Mashida is gonna come? Because he always arrives when there's jazz music. Gotta set the mood for the investigation, huh? Mother Nature is just taunting me. As time comes to get the search started, two figures finally appear. Who are they? Oh, Damon, hey. Right on time. Did you get any sleep? 
Damon looks exhausted, probably as a result of everything that happened last night. Hello! <gasps> Banshee! Howdy, it's my turn today. Do this, we shall. Yeah, Banshee! Oh, Banshee, if you guys did not see the last chapter, Banshee came in clutch. He just came running in with the chisel. He's like, Bane, I'm here! I ran from the mansion to the shelter. That man can run. He has fast little legs. <laughs> Banshee are mad. Yeah. I honestly never expected Banshee Ito to come help. Um, Banshee is poggers. Of course he would come and help us. <laughs> but he definitely has some spiritual powers. Yoso Oka's judgment is on point. But more importantly, how is Hiro doing? She's stable. She's showing no adverse symptoms. But she hasn't regained consciousness, and she's exhausted a lot of energy. Even being optimistic, it isn't good. At this rate, her life could be in danger. What did that lady do? Is that so? I was prepared for bad news, but the situation sounds exceedingly dire laid out like that. The problem is, we don't know the cause. We suspect poison, but without knowing what kind, there's nothing we can do. Okay. So we have to find the spider. We have to find the spider, put it in a jar, run to the hospital, and be like, this is the spider. And then they'll find the poison. Remedy. Antidote, that's what it's called. What's worse is we can't find a puncture wound for the inject- Oh, wait, hmm? So she- So she wasn't bit or anything, it just- Wait a minute. What if she didn't get injected with the venom? What if she ate the spider? You know, like that image I showed? I think that's, um, I think, okay, maybe I'm putting two and two together. Okay, um, people are swallowing spiders. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Would you like to walk into my parlor, said the spider to the fly? Exactly. You can't give her a serum? Isn't that normally what you give patients when there's poison? Damon looks exasperated, or rather frustrated, as he shakes his head. So just try random antioxidants. Sorry, antitoxins? Sure, if you want to kill her, go ahead. Even if we could get our hands on the poison, it'd take time to create the serum. We'd be too late. So there's nothing we can do. If we just had some kind of clue. I look up at the hotel, vast in the sea of neon. There isn't much hope, but we can't despair either. Oh, that's right, just so you know. Damon looks over at me. There is no mark on Hero's body. Body, bleh. I see. Which means that the nightmare isn't starting again. I sigh in relief, the frozen chunk of fear in my chest melting away. I did some investigating on that myself, actually. I went to the warehouse last night. And what did you find? Nothing had changed. That Halloween box has... was still sealed. Is that right? <sighs> well, that's good. That's the first good news I've heard in a while. Come on, you two. Banshee, lead the way! How long are you gonna stand around chit-chatting? Let's get going already. Right, sorry for making you wait. This is everyone for today, right? I hesitate for a second as Ida comes to mind, but... This is all of us. Let's get started. Good. Time to get a move on. He's so energetic that it's more worrying than reassuring. No! Banshee is gonna save us. He's gonna pull out the chisel again, and I'll be like, Banshee, why do you keep pulling out chisels? 
He's gonna save us. Why is Banshee this fired up? Just an FYI, old man. This place may be abandoned, but stealing is a crime. An ex-detective gave us the request. If you do anything illegal... How dare you! I don't go around stealing things. I'm helping out the goodness on my heart. Anyways, who cares about that? Let's get to searching. Sounds like Damon hit the bullseye. Banshee would never steal. He is a good man. Banshee rushes ahead in the hotel as if trying to get away. As troublesome as ever. Why is everyone mean to Banshee? Well, he's at least reliable at times like these. By the way, Bean, may I ask you to do something for me? No need to be so formal about it. If something were to happen to me, please move Hero to another hospital at once? I've spoken to another doctor I know. Okay. Then if I start acting strangely, I'll leave myself in your hands, Damon. Yes, of course. And then if we both start acting silly, Banshee will take care of us. And what will we do if we're both done in? Good question. Guess it'll be up to that grumpy detective. No. No, we're not trusting Mashida. We trust Banshee. Right. Let's have him take care of it. Come on, we can't let the guy wander alone. Alrighty. I wonder if we can go up to the fourth floor. Also, I wonder what the spirit is going to say when there's three guys in here. Whoa, it's still all fancy in here. And she's cheerful voice hits us as soon as we, as we step inside. Mm, maybe I could make this my second home. Banshee, no. Oh, what's this glass case about? Talking to himself, he starts rummaging about. I already warned you once, old man. <laughs> We're not here to play. It reminds me of um that SpongeBob mean, meme where it's like, how many times do we have to tell you, old man? <laughs> I don't think Banshee's listening. As Banshee putters around by himself, he reminds me of what happened to Hero yesterday. We should stick together as much as possible. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. They need to stop writing memes into these games. I'm sorry. Yeah, you're right. Hey, old man, are you listening? I have ears. He hears us all right, but clearly won't listen. Good grief. So, Bean, you search up to the third floor yesterday? Which means we should look through the fourth and above today. Yeah, that's right, but... Is there a problem with that plan? When we went up the stairs to the fourth floor, we just ended up on the third again. I tell them about the mysterious phenomena we encountered yesterday. I'm so glad I'm not the only person who thinks of that song when I hear It's Dangerous to Go Alone. I love. I... What? Oh, I can't remember their name. It's not Ninja Sex Party. Um, It's Aaron, Danny, and Brian. Starbomb! Sorry. Oh my god. I just had like a brain fart right there. Are you sure you weren't just confused? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was real. Then we're in trouble. Is there no other way to the fourth floor? I mean, the elevators. What are you talking about? There's a way right over there. Easy. Banshee unexpectedly butts in. What do you mean? That thing right there, see? Do you bumpkins not know what an elevator is? Damon lets out an irritated groan. Old man, you know elevators need electricity to work, don't you? Do you think this hotel has any power? 
If there isn't any, then all you have to do is make it so that there is. There's devices that control electricity. I should know. I'm an expert. Oh, really? Is that so? Damon sighs. I think he's lost the will to argue. Guess I'll just have to find the device thing myself then. He heads off and after I told him not to wander away from others. I just asked you not to go off by yourself. Banshee, I'm begging you, stay. I don't get to finish my sentence. A splitting pain pierces my head and I fall to my knees. Bean, what's wrong? My head, suddenly... Do you get chronic migraines? Do you have any medicine on you? No, I don't think that's it. My head is just throbbing. A pulsing headache? If you don't have any medicine, then icing it is the best. I'll go buy something from the vending machine. Sit here until I come back. I just said we can't split up. Power. Back power went out? Oh, no worries, Pack. No worries at all. I'm just... <laughs> I'm mad at my partners because I said, don't don't run away, guys. Stay with me. And they're like, we're going to go our own way. And it's like, why would you do this to me? On Good Friday, why would you do this to me? Actually, you know what? It's not Good Friday anymore. It's Saturday. Got my nose. Don't try to stand. You could fall over. I sink to the floor, unable to even reply. So I'm laying on the dusty floor. Lying on the cold, hard ground. I need to just stop. Before long, Damon returns with a cold bottle of water, but... Strangely enough, my headache completely vanished while he was gone. It's hard to believe that a pain that intense would disappear so easily, but it did. Damon doesn't seem particularly surprised when I tell him. No, it's not that odd. After all, we haven't clarified the cause, what caused the headache in the first place. I'm sure it's just exhaustion. You didn't sleep much yesterday, did you? That's true, I can't exactly say I got much rest. When you're under continuous stress, it's possible to get sudden headaches. Once you get home, you should take a bath or something and relax. Okay, I'll try that. All, all of that's common sense, but it carries weight coming from a doctor. Uh, by the way... Damon looks around puzzled. Where's old man Banshee? Huh? I whip my head around searching, but Banshee is nowhere to be found. Already, I give up. I hope he's okay. Yes, right after what happened yesterday. But there's nothing we can do. We'll let him do what he wants. As long as it's a proper investigation, the detective should have no complaints. Yeah, let's go. Okay, so... Oh my god. I Let's see if we can go to the fourth floor. Maybe something cleared up. Or maybe the fourth floor is, like, the boss battle. <laughs> Which I am not ready for a boss battle. So then let's go to the fourth floor. Or attempt to do it. Nope, we're on the third floor. Okay, that's fine. Um, little, little dungeon room. Banshee? Okay, he's not in the weird dungeon. I say dungeon, but it's not really that much of a dungeon. Spitter webs. Anyone in the bathroom? I have a man with me, hang on. This means we can lift the bed. Oh my god, oh my god, hang on, hang on, Damon, we gotta lift the bed.
Go down. You're gonna lift the bed, and I'm gonna use my spoon to grab whatever's under there. Let's go, let's go. Oh my god, oh my god, yes. I'm so smart. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yep, 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 yep. What do you think? Can you lift the- Oh, I'm gonna ask the sickly doctor? God, I'm rude. Well, I can at least hold it up. I'll just have to give it a try. Oh shit, I'm hitting Q, not A. I was wondering why they were speaking so fast. <laughs> Make sure you don't hurt your back. <laughs> One, two, three. We both lift the bed up together. I managed to drag the object out with my foot. What is it? I've got it, you can put it down now. Oh, I've worked up a sweat. So, what did you find? Oh. I'm... You know? You... You will need that here. Not us, personally, but you know. The workers. Strange it hasn't been found until now. Well, at least it hasn't been used. Ooh. I mean, cool, I guess. <laughs> Am I just going to throw it at the big boss? <laughs> Ooh, the mirror with the um hand. Um Was it in this room? Was this it? Is this the one with the dusty? Nope, it's not. Okay. Um Okay, we're making progress. We're making progress. We, we're getting some weird items, but that's okay. Oh my god, we're getting weird items that I'm probably gonna have to fight the boss with. Okay. One of us is gonna hold a contraceptive and the other one's gonna hold the vibrator. Let's go. Damon, you're coming with me at the end. I've already decided. Oh, you're still here, Happy. Hello, welcome. <laughs> welcome back. Or hello, you're still here. Y yes, we we're finding very interesting objects. And when you find interest, when you find objects in this game, you use them to battle the final boss. And you know, we, we found some stuff. Weirdly, kind of par for the course of ghost fighting. You know how that's like such a dominant move. You just come at someone like a ghost with just... Can I even say... Can I... I don't even know if I can... Hang on, I gotta Google this. I don't know if I can say that on Twitch. I've already said it, but... I should be safe. I- okay, you know what? Girl is wild in today. No, it's the game. It's the game. But yes, um... Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. The- the game, it's- it's just this chapter. I swear it's the chapter. I swear. Okay, um... <laughs> We need to go find the mirror with the dusty handprint. It's an interesting chapter for sure. It really is. I I don't know why I was like thinking, you know, we're at the love hotel. We're not going to find anything that relates to a love hotel. It just didn't click until I was finding the stuff. <laughs> Okay, this has to be the bathroom with the dusty mirror. Also, where's Banshee? If I squint, uh-huh. Okay, nothing. 
Oh no! Damon, what do we do? Hmm, maybe I have to look at this. Oh, maybe I have to look at it. No, never mind. It's not giving me the option. Where? Where is Banshee? Banshee, please. I couldn't open the dresser drawer. How can I find him? Banshee? Uh huh. Is it nothing? Okay. This? Uh huh. Uh huh. Nothing? Okay. This? Look? Can I open it with a spoon? You can open the door with the spoon? Did something change here? Uh huh. With a wedding dress, okay. Um, Damon, hey. Where do we go? Where is Banshee? There's not many places he can be. Am I- I'm missing something. What am I missing? What am I missing? Look. I can see inside the elevator. It seems to be stopped on the second floor. Okay. Cool. Let's open it with a spoon. I mean, I don't know what I'm using that spoon for. It has to be something. What am I missing? What? A Hang on. We didn't check the room in the dungeon. Like, there was that door. Maybe Banshee broke it. Let's- let's go see. Banshee, my dude, are you in here? Hello? It looks undamaged at first, but the whole fr- Okay, no. I put my hand on the door. Hmm, I see. Try opening it while pushing it from another direction. Which direction is that? Mm, one not involved with it opening or closing. So, from the side. Try pulling on the frame again, and I'll try out my idea. I pulled on it again as I'm told. Damon puts his hand on the side of the knob and leans his weight towards the hinge. Then, we fall into the room. Beautiful. Wow, it actually opened. Just a little life wisdom. I live in an old traditional house, so I deal with my fair share of troublesome doors. Well, my office doorknob falls off sometimes. One of these days, I'm going to get trapped in my office. And I... <laughs> that's not good. I need to get that doorknob replaced. Because it's like two different knobs on each side, and the... Knob that's inside the room doesn't fit it properly. But anyways, makes sense. You never know what's going to come in handy. There might be something inside. After all, this guest room seems different. I don't think this is a guest room. I think this is a very sparse dungeon. Yeah, we should be careful. Okay, I don't think anything... Never mind, it's a horror game. I was gonna say, I don't think there's anything that can hurt people in here. And then I remembered it's a horror game. What's in here? Oh, nothing. <laughs> mm. I step inside and dig around in the bathtub. Hmm? I immediately notice a large object that looks like a small log. What's this? I stare at it until I realize what it is. Oh, 
Oh, the head. For the Spanish donkey. Damon seems shocked. It might be a little late to be saying this, but you really are impressive, Bean. Well, that was weird. I'm gonna touch the toilet. I go inside and flush the toilet. The toilet lets out a horrible coughing noise and spits up some black water. When I look up, I notice something stuck on the side of the tank. Worn out, I don't need that talisman. I'm too pog. Ooh, what's this? Hairdressing products, cologne and lotion? Some of the bottles still have a little bit of liquid left, but most are empty. Well, let's take some! I check through all the bottles on the shelf. I find a tube that still has something left inside. Okay. Maybe toothpaste? Ooh, why, why do I have a feeling I know what this is? Oh, well, it's not what I thought what it is. But you can kind of use it for that. Yeah, it's used as lubricant and moisturizers. Huh, might come in handy. What if we use it to open up the elevator doors? Oh my god. There's dark red stains by the sink drain. It seems to be dried blood. Someone must have lost a lot of blood going by how much is on the floor. What the hell happened here? Girl, I- someone needs to clean this. Okay, I haven't- what if we combine the spoon and the Vaseline together? Oh my god, hang on. Hang on. I have an idea. I have an idea. Go down. Oh, wait! Wait, I could have put the- hang on. Well, mm, where are you here? I'm going to use the Vaseline. Okay, you know what? That was just too smart of an idea. It was too smart. Now we're going to put the head on the um, donkey. Okay, there you are. Okay, wait. Oh, that's not what I meant. But wait, I can't put the... I can't put the head on him. Do I have to? No, I can't. Well, maybe. No. Oh, that's maybe one day I'll get this right. What would I even do that with? Okay. Maybe we go to the lobby. Maybe Banshee will be there. I just want to make sure Banshee's okay. Banshee. Maybe. What do I? So that's nothing new. Yeah, that's nothing new. Um. Nothing's new there. Can't do that. He's fine. What if Banshee ends up like Hero and he tries to seduce us? I don't want that to happen. What do I do? We've...
we went into the bathroom on the third floor. We got the thing under the bed. Um, what else are we supposed to do? This is... Take the... How do we do this? Do we... Vaseline? <sighs> Hang on. So Damon helped us open that door. He also lifted the bed. Can we force our way in? E e force? Force? Yes. Want to give it a try? Lend me a hand. Technically, I'm going to need your whole body, not just your hand. All right. I'll show you what I'm capable of now that I've gotten healthier. On my count, one, two. We muster all our strength and try two or three times to force the doors open. Then we br Ooh, look at us. My God, I never knew Damon and I would be like a power team. I love this. There's the sound of something snapping and the door suddenly slides open. I never knew you were so strong, Damon. Did we break it? Ooh. Who knows? It's probably still okay. But now we can search inside. Yeah. Let's go inside. Okay, well, A, Banshee's not going to be in there. So, I, I guess. Whatever. Go in the elevator. Okay. Manually opening the door with my hands and stepping in feels weird. Oh, hell no. There is, I think there is a creepy crawly in that corner. This is why I need a lighter so I can just... <laughs> Damon conscientiously closes the door once he comes inside. Doesn't leaving a elevator door open concern you? Ah, true. I think it was just habit that I didn't think about it. Still, are those spider webs on the ceiling? Yeah, looks like it. Yeah, do you see the spider too? An enclosed area such as this would be a good place to spin a web. Now then, where should we first check? Uh, the creepy cro- oh. Never mind, it's wires. There's cables coming out of the hole on top. Looks like a light used to be here, but it was taken down for whatever reason. Okay, so there's six floors. I'm assuming the sixth floor is the roof. Mm hmm Touching it coats my fingers in dust. Okay. So the VI- Oh, it's a VIP room. It's the only one with a different color. Okay. Ooh, I did not like that noise. A key? Do we have a key? We do have the emergency king ring. Hang on, hang on. I find a small key that has the word fire engraved on it. I stick it in the fire switch. Oh yeah. I slowly turn it to the on position, but I can't turn it. It ha 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 ha. Doesn't seem lubricated enough. Well, well, well. Let me tell you what I have. I have some Vaseline. If I try to force it, it might break. I think that's the right key, but you might need to put some oil on it. 
Do not worry. I have some right here. I am not reading that sentence. It's nothing more than a replacement for oil, but it might help the key slide better. All right, all right, key, key. All right, let's do this, let's do this. Yep, okay, yep. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Something clicks. But nothing happens. What? Am I supposed to feel it? I touch the keyhole. Some of the Vaseline I just smeared earlier gets on my fingers. Um, I looked at it. I'm gonna look at it again. That doesn't... Huh? Wait, is it just me or something off? It is indeed odd. The buttons only go up to the fifth floor. Well, you probably have to walk up to the sixth floor. And yet... The floor guy says there's a sixth floor. That is quite concerning. No, no, no. They don't want the common people to go up to that VIP room, so the VIPs have, like, a hidden place. Maybe you can only get to the sixth floor by using the stairs, you see? I don't think so. It says the sixth floor has the deluxe suite. I've never heard of a VIP room that you can only get to using the stairs. That's a good point. They wouldn't make their guests of honor use the stairs. But then... what does this discrepancy mean? I suddenly remember how Banshee was fixated on the elevator. Like he somehow knew it held a secret all along. Wait a minute. The floor... The elevator on the first floor, I bet you, is a different elevator. And it only goes up to the sixth floor. Right? Right? Am I right? Hang on. We'll just have to try to get it moving. Huh? Get what moving? The elevator, like what Banshee was saying. Damon stares at me, his face a mask of utter disbelief. You know Banshee has mysterious powers. Maybe we just need to bet on them. Though his idea has a huge hole in it. The problem is, how are we going to go about getting it to move? I don't have the slightest idea. Hmm, I see now. I thought he was going to get irritated with me, but Damon thinks about something for a while. Then he slowly starts to talk, okay? Dean, to be honest, I've been giving it a lot of thought since then. A lot of thought to what? Why we survived, or more, why the spirits were vanquished. I've been considering the reason. It's surprising to hear him talk about that. He speaks as if recounting something painful. The reason why, it's clear that nothing physical was behind it. I get the feeling that they were vanquished for some meaningful reason. Otherwise, that soldier wouldn't have crumbled just from one hit with a chisel. Which leads me to one answer. The fights we experienced with the spirits weren't actually fights more rituals with certain conventions. Rituals? Yes, just like the religious ceremonies, rituals that are presented to the spirits. A ritual is a reenactment of something. Obviously, it doesn't actually take place. But maybe going through the motion satisfies those on the other side. Then one's purpose is accomplished. In our case, the spirits were vanquished. Then the marks disappeared. It's all conceptual, but it's a convincing argument, especially for those with personal experience. For example, we vanquished Hanahiko with a lipstick and a hand mirror, but we were essentially reenacting his memories of his mother. And if you define a ritual as a reenactment, then that'd mean our fights were rituals. I understand that, but.
That was my point. We must fix the elevator. That much is clear. But perhaps we only need a ritual. In other words, go through the motions. So he's saying we need to perform some kind of ritual to get the elevator moving. It's almost like playing house. This isn't playtime. Rituals are serious. No adult would get excited over a groundbreaking ceremony. Ah, true. If this is the work of being caught up in some delusion, like the spirits, a ritual might make something happen. The investigation was entrusted to you. Therefore, I leave the decision to you. A repairing ritual? A repairing... A repairing ritual? Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Sorry. We need to... We need to find Banshee. A repairing ritual. It's an object... Okay, huh? I open the cover and peek inside. I don't know the actual name for it, but I find a device that looks like a circuit board. Hmm, and of course it's broken. We'll have to fix this if we want to get the elevator moving. Just like the old man said, it normally doesn't move without electricity. Of course, we don't actually have to fix it. So as long as we get it moving, we'll only be performing a repairing ritual. That's all we can do. By the way, Bean, Damon's face pales further as he groans. This stuff hanging everywhere. I think it's human hair. Damon, we were in the shelter that had human hair everywhere. This is fine. Sweat drips down my back. It, it certainly looks that way. Well, we can only ignore it for now. Yeah, good idea. Trying to put it from my mind, I reach out to the circuit board. Just then, I n notice something weird. What's that? No what noise? When I hold my head close to the circuit board, I hear a faint buzzing. It's coming from the circuit board. Something might be vibrating inside it. That's often the case with electrical devices. You're right, it's vibrating. Touching the case with my fingers, I can feel the vibrations. He was right. The board is vibrating. So that must be why Damon nods, his, nods to himself. There aren't any spider webs here. What do you mean? Nothing. I'd expect this place to be covered with spider webs like the elevator. It was strange to see it wasn't. It's probably because of this noise. Sp spiders hate small vibra- Oh my god. I- I am gonna have to use the vibrator against the boss. Not like that. Oh god, no. I think I might just delete this VOD. Just because it's a little sussy. <laughs> but that's not what I meant. Ignore me. Don't listen to me. Ignore what I s My defense, it's almost one in the morning. I've heard that's why they don't spin webs by motors or things like that. That's oh, not really relevant. Now, what should we do about this? No, no, it, it was relevant, Damon. It was relevant. I'm... I need to write this down. Spider... Vibration. Because I'm going to need this when I'm battling the boss. So what can... Do we have anything electrical? What do I have? Hmm. A spoon? Metal conducts electricity, right? Oh my god, I'm so smart. I see, so electricity will be able to pass through it. Exactly! Yeah, I'm not sure it'll actually work, though. 
Listen, this is fine. This, oh, I'm so big brain. It might be enough for what we're trying to accomplish right now. I force the spoon behind the copper bar and it sticks in place rather nicely. Yeah, we did it. That means we can run up to the second floor. Second floor, second floor. Go up, up, up. Go inside. Oh my god, Damon, we are so smart. By we, I mean me. Yeah. I push one of the buttons as I... Hang on, I forgot. We have to turn it on. Turn on. Something clicks. Nothing happens. What do you mean? Was that not enough to complete the ritual? <laughs> okay. Me Maybe we can put the head on the donkey now. Maybe that's what we needed to do. Or something else. When we return to the third floor. Mm hmm, this is interesting. And she is there. He's appreciating a painting on the wall and mumbling something. What's so interesting about the painting? What are you doing? You aren't planning on stealing that, are you? Hm. Even I can tell this painting ain't worth a dime. I just... I was just giving it a good look-see. These paintings seem to have a... specific order to view them. See you. I'm gonna go look somewhere else. Banshee disappears down the stairs. Okay, so we have to look at all the paintings. Okay, hang on. So, third floor, what painting is this? A cane, so old. Okay, okay, I think we're getting this. I think we're getting this. There should be three paintings. Go down... This one is a man. And then the one on the first floor is the wedding dress. So it has to be two, one, three. Okay. So we looked at that one. Let's go to the first floor. And then... Uh-huh. Yep. And then we'll go back to the third floor. And maybe that will activate something. Hang on, hang on. I think I got this. I think I cooked. I think I cooked. I am so smart. Oh my god. I am too smart. Okay, third. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yep. Maybe it's the other way? Three, one, two? Because Banshee said you have to see them in a certain way. 
Hang on, hang on, hang on. Maybe it's the other way. Because there's only three paintings. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, yeah, 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 yes, yes, yes. Okay, and then we go floor two. Okay. I have it written down on my notepad. Because <laughs> I have the worst... My brain is not thinking right now. And then this one. Uh-huh, yep. Well, that didn't work. Now, was Banshee lying to me? View it in a certain way. Banshee. How dare you. Give me my spoon back. Alright, let's see what else I have. Um... What if I do this? Well, I... Listen. I thought. Um, probably shouldn't use Vaseline. Oh! Oh, I thought it was contraception for women. I didn't... Oh. <laughs> We got, we got a little condom here, I guess. Well! Oh. Okay. We're, uh. You're insulating it with rubber? I, listen. I honestly thought it was pills. Don't, don't look at me. I'm not sure this will actually work. I, the spoon didn't work. I mean, it, I don't know. It might be enough for what we're trying to accomplish right now. I forcefully slip it around the copper bar and it sticks in place rather nicely. Disgusting. Okay, if it doesn't work, I'm gonna have to take it out when I can't put it back in its package. Like, I'm gonna have to carry it around. I swear to God. I swear to God, if it doesn't work, I'm going to cry. All right, keys. What do we got? Yep, okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Slowly, yes, yes, yes. Uh-huh. Something clicks, okay. Nothing happened. Well... Okay. Well, I guess I get to put that back in my pocket. That's disgusting. Help is on the way here. Mrs. Doubtfire, help me, please. I don't want. Ugh. I don't. Ugh, this is disgusting. I don't want to put it back. Okay, I just put that back in there. 
Is it the spoon? Yes, yeah. Hey, the spoon's in there. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. There's two of these boxes. There's two of these boxes. Hang on, hang on. There's two of these boxes. Hang on. Where, where? Oh my god, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh my god, oh my god. I think I got it, I think I got it. I'm cooking, I'm cooking, I'm, I'm cooking. Yes, yes, yes. Do you need this? This isn't its original purpose. Well, we're not using it for that. But it's still rubber. If I stretch it, it should work like a rubber band. I stretched the... <laughs> I love how they're very vague with the items in this chapter. I stretch the contraceptive with both hands and hook it to the switch. Takes more strength than I expected. Managed to connect the ends to and fix the switch in place. Huh. You're pretty imaginative. I was running out of options, dude. Don't look at me. Don't look at me, Damon. My face. Finding out <laughs> it was a condom. And having to use it. And then putting it back in my bag. Ugh. This game hates me. <laughs> so... It might work, it might work. Okay, and then we go down, down. If the elevator doesn't work, we just cry. And that's okay. That's a-okay. Um, key ring, yes, yes, hello. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah, yeah, see, mm-hmm. Something clicks, okay. Then... Okay. Guys, if you ever need power for an elevator, you need two items. Remember this. This is Survival 101. <laughs> the elevator automatically moves to the first floor. Damon groans as he wipes sweat off his face. I can't believe it. It actually moved. Wait a second. You're the one who suggested we do a ritual. I, I suppose so, but I'm still shocked. But now finally, yeah, we might be able to go above the third floor. Exactly. I wonder what we'll find. Oh god, I don't know. Banshee, are, are you out here? No, I didn't want to leave the hotel. Get back inside. All right, Damon. You ready? What horrors are on floor four, five, and six? Let's go. Let's go. Four. How bad can it be? Let's go, Damon. Looks like we managed to make it up here. Yeah, let's go. Let's go, we got this, Damon. We are too smart. The gloomy hallway stretches out ahead of us. It doesn't look all that different from the lower floors. No! Oh god, I don't have the spoon to fight her. A red raincoat appears in the darkness. My grip on the flashlight becomes sweaty. Don't drop the flashlight. We might need to use it. That's... Damon takes a step back. Sensei. Sir, other people are unnecessary. Oh god, Damon. The last time she showed up, Hiro was acting weird? Um... I... Mmm. Just stay with me, Damon. Don't leave. Hello, boss. Welcome. You're the only one I want to see, sir. 
But Damon is my friend. I don't like ro I don't like gross or scary things. That is so mean. She's calling me sir again. She seems like she'll listen to what I have to say. I should try asking her something this time. Anything, really. I just need a clue. Anything that can save Hiro, who's suffering at this very moment. Yeah, like, um, what's going on? <laughs> okay. Mind made up? I take a deep breath. I take a deep breath, but... Damon, what are you doing? Damon stumbles over something and falls. What did you fall over? Hey, are you okay? Sorry, nothing's... Huh? Damon falls silent as he tries to stand. I look over at him and immediately see it. Is it a spider? The thing Damon stumbled over is... Or is it a body? <gasps> Banshee! Damon instinctively scrambles back. W what is this? Something that looks like a giant cocoon is sticking to the ground. <gasps> I can see a scarf and a hat entangled in the glittering thr- I am beating this woman. How dare she do this to Banshee? They look familiar. No, it can't be. Banshee? Old man, you're kidding. Banshee, can you hear me? Please, say something. <gasps> oh my god, Banshee! I hear a muffled voice from the cocoon. He's alive. Oh! We got little funky buddies here. We got spitters. I quickly move to shoo them away. But I see a red figure out of the corner of my eye. I gotta use the vibrator. Because they hate the noise, so I just like... Put it towards them, I guess. Oh god. You stay away from me, lady. L... L. Damon's so panicked he's unintelligible. But I know what he's trying to say. We are going to fight. Escaping to the elevator is our only choice. No, Banshee! Go, go! No, we! We can use the vibrations to save Banshee. Together we- Oh yes! Together we rip Banshee up off the floor. Thank god. Carrying him like a log, we stumble to the elevator. I was gonna say, if they leave him there, I am gonna be so mad. We fall into the elevator and I repeatedly slam the button for the first floor. Banshee, can you hear me? Hey, say something! Damon tries to give Banshee medical treatment. Damn it, he's no longer responding. His body's going rigid. As Damon forces on helping Banshee, I see something black squirming by his shoulder. Damon! Huh. It's like the little freaks in Jumanji. I blink and suddenly the entire elevator is filled with wriggling shadows. They come in one after another. Oh, shit. Live or die. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Yell, yell, yell. They hate noise, they hate noise, they hate noise. I bend over and yell loud enough to wreck my throat. I just scream into the spider's ear. The spiders visibly stop moving for a minute. <laughs> That's right, you spider from Jumanji. They're still coming in. We need something stronger. This is it. This is my time. I know what we gotta use. Give me- where is it? Where- there! Vibrator. Go, 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 go. 
we're gonna terrify. Take <laughs> I take the vibrator out of my bag, press it against the wall, and turn it on. Here we go. A growling vibration runs through the walls. That is that is very powerful. Dang. The spiders suddenly start acting strangely. If I was Damon, I too would be like, what the hell are you doing? Banshee's not even awake, but I bet you he's like, what are you doing? That's right. That's right. Yeah. Yelling. We did it. You just have to yell and use... Use what you have. The creatures vanish instantly, as if they'd only been a mirage. What's going on? Yeah, I was desperate, but I can't believe that thing had a big enough vibration to scare them. Listen. Don't be surprised. Because <laughs> I'm puzzling out why. Something slams into the elevator door. Hard. Hurry up and get the elevator going. Right, I need to hit a button. But then I realized I already pressed the button a ton of times. I press the button for the first floor again. It only clicks. The metal box is stranding us. Why isn't it moving? Ooh. It's her! Hurry! Hurry! It's obvious who she is. Move, 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 move. I pray silently as I jam the button. That's just me, like, with any elevator. I don't want anyone on, so I, like, smash the button, like, a million times. Why did it get dark? Are we alive? We stumble out of the elevator without checking to see where we've stopped. Look at that first floor. Damon flexing those massive biceps again. I know, right? Damon, the true MVP for this chapter. Yeah, I feel like I didn't get to play with him a lot when I did my run through. Because you didn't really need him for his chapter. You needed Hero. So it's nice that he gets more um, development. That's nice. Did we escape? Yeah. For whatever reason, the elevator decided to move at the very last second. I doubt my praying actually worked, but I'm not sure what happened, but I think we're safe. I breathe a sigh of relief, and a figure appears in the gloom. Ida! Why are you guys in there? Ida? Um, you're both covered in sweat. Oh my god, Ida. It, it was a hell of a time. D did something happen? Of course something. Wait, Ida. Did you call the elevator down here? What? Yeah, I mean, it looked like... Oh my god. If Suzu wouldn't have told Ida that we were here and that we needed help, we would be SOL. Did I do something wrong? No, Ida. No. You pogged. Ida holds himself back timidly. It sounds like he thinks I'm mad at him. Damon silently steps up to him. Then suddenly gives him a hug. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Ida. Well done. If you hadn't been there, we would have... True. You couldn't have asked for better timing. I can't be more grateful that Suzu contacted Ida. What's most important right now... Oh, that's right. He needs emergency treatment. Just Banshee laying on the ground, going rigid, like, I need help. <laughs> Come help me with him, Ida. O okay. Completely clueless, Ida helps us drag the white lump out of the elevator. W what is this creepy thing? I hesitate for a moment before I reply, but he should know. Banshee Ido, the old man from the underground shelter. Oh, Ida! Whoa, idiot, don't drop him! No, he's just emotional! Why are we taking Banshee to my house? I don't have 
Oh, wait. I don't get back to Kujo Mansion until almost midnight. Okay, I was gonna say, are we dropping Banshee off at my house? This is not a hospital. My exhausted body groans in pain as I collapse on the sofa. My head feels heavy, like it's in a fog. To top it off, things are worse than yesterday now. Banshee was sent to Damon's hospital and immediately admitted. He's no longer conscious, and untrained eyes would say he's just sleeping, but... He's actually fallen into a deep coma. His condition is very serious. To be honest, I wanted to go along and do something to help, but... Damon chased me out of the hospital. He said I'm overworked and sleep-deprived. He'd have stayed behind, at least. Not that he's replacing me, but it's good he's there. Okay, so the last we have not seen show yet. And that is the man who ruined my first run through. Where is he? I demand to see him. I'm frustrated with myself for thinking he'd be useless. Once everything is over, I definitely need to thank Suzu. It's. <laughs> I bet. I bet you Endgame is gonna be me in show. I bet you. I bet you Endgame is gonna be me and him. This insane. The one person I accidentally get killed is the person I might have to go with against the big bad in this get chapter. I bet you it's him. I can feel it. I can feel it. First hero and now Banshee. At this rate, even if I keep investigating, if I don't find any clues, thinking about it makes my stomach hurt. Those two might never recover, and that's just assuming their conditions stabilize. If they get worse, something even more terrible could happen. I put my head in my hands and sigh. The red raincoat flashes in the darkness. What should I do? How do I... I have to keep investigating tomorrow. Once I finish looking through the, the documents, I should head straight to bed. Making sure that is on the button I want. Okay, rest for today. I need to go to bed early and rest. Okay, that's fine. Early morning, and I get the worst wake up. And I get the worst wake up call ever. A severe pain threatens to split my head. The mysterious headache from yesterday is back with vengeance. I meant to go to Damon's hospital to see Hero and Banshee while it was light out. Ugh. Spots flash before my eyes. I can't even sit up. I pull the sheets up and wait for it to pass. Oh my god. I'm only just able to move by the time the sun is setting. Thunder rumbles in the distance. Sounds like rain again. Great. I press my fingers to my temples to check. The whirlwind of pain has once again disappeared without a trace. I sigh. Mashita calls as I'm making coffee in the kitchen. He says he'll come along for tonight's investigation. Oh. Okay, Mashita. He must have finally wrapped up his other cases. He mentioned that he dropped by the hospital in between cases to see Hiro and Banshee. Seems like they went berserk when they awoke and now are restrained. They refuse to eat. Relying I on IVs won't work forever. I didn't expect the report to be good, but... This is a critical point in the case. Before he hangs up, Mashita utters a warning. Then this is the 11th hour. Mashita doesn't offer a reply. The red lights outside the rain-soaked window are hazy like a wilting flower. It's time to head out. Let's go, let's go! Masquerade! Ugh. I 
park the car in the parking lot as always and walk over to the street in the rain. I pass the familiar road to the hotel. Hey, Mashita. You're late. What were you doing? Okay, first off, dude, I wasn't expecting you to be here. I thought, am I not even at endgame yet? A man in a trench coat cuts an imposing figure on the wet street corner, glittering in lights. You know damn well, time is of the essence right now. Damon's prepared for the worst, too. He's made arrangements to transfer them. Transfer them? Oh. They must be in pretty bad condition, then. And I... And I didn't mention this over the phone, but I met someone at Damon's hospital. I ran into Sho Nagashima. Sho? What was he doing there? Some of his gang hangs out there. Guess we're a hot topic with them. They've seen people in and out of the hotel. Nagashima heard about it and figured they were talking about you. He contacted the fortune teller and, well... So now Sho knows about the case too. Ugh, why didn't she just keep quiet? That old lady hands out business cards to anyone and everyone. It's a real pain. So, did you talk to Sho? Hmm, why would I? He cornered me, asking for information on the case, but I drove him off. I certainly feel uneasy. You didn't say anything unnecessary, did you? Of course not. I just said to stay out of grown-up manners. For just a moment, my vision tunnels and a blood vessel in my head throbs. Something wrong? No, I'm fine. I'm sure he doesn't want Sho involved either, but he really should have considered his words more carefully. I hear footsteps coming up behind me. It... It can't be, Sho! I raise my head with a sudden sense of dread. But it's only Mo Watanabe. Thank goodness you're here after all. Good thing I came straight here. I got the results you asked for. I look at her blankly for a moment, but then I remember I asked her to do... Sorry, I asked her to use her connections to investigate the rumors. Right, thanks. There's no time. Give us the short version. TLDR. Oh, okay. Then I'll only cover the really important part. I heard something amazing from someone who was there at the time. What, like a hotel employee? No, not like that, jeez. When I say someone who was there, I obviously mean one of the high school girls who was up to no good. You talk to one. This is legit, right? Even Mashida's interested. Sorry, I used a wrong voice for Mashida, but I'm not doing voices, so it's fine. Only the people who use Masquerade really know what happened here. Hearing from someone involved is the best. Yeah, her name's Eiko. The editorial department helped me track her down. She went to a nearby high school and did this part-time job, apparently. And what's really important is what Eiko said about her classmate, classmate Esko. Mo pulls a voice recorder from her bag and hits the play button. Okay. Yeah, a friend introduced me to a part-time job. It was whimsical. Uh, I mean, I just did it on a whim. Yeah, so we're supposed to meet at the hotel masquerade. And there's a system there where someone introduces us to customers. You get a lot of money from it, so everyone was dying to get hired. But one day there was like, an incident. Someone at school found out about the job. Some goody two-shoe class reps, Esco, said she was gonna tell her teacher, and Mura. Everyone freaked and apologized to her, saying they'd stop. She wouldn't listen. If our parents found out, it'd be the worst thing ever. We begged, but she didn't budge. In the end, she left class saying she was going to the police with Enmura. We were totally freaking out, so I went to the hotel that night. I mean, at that point, there was no harm in going in, you know? <laughs> but then, she was there. Esko was standing in front of Masquerade in the drizzling rain, in a red raincoat. She said she was going to the police, so who knows why she was at the hotel. 
but it made us all jumpy and on edge every day after that. Except nothing ever happened. Soon after that masquerade shut down, I guess they uncovered something. Huh, the job? Yeah, I completely quit after that. Okay, uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay. That's Aiko's testimony. Just the important parts, though. Mo got a fascinating first-hand account. The rumors of Red Riding Hood and what was written in the guest books we found in the hotel. All the pieces in that girl's confession. So what ended up happening to Esco? Mm, I don't know exactly, but apparently she stopped coming to school. According to Eiko, she just suddenly stopped showing up. Mishida snorts. It's too perfect. She was probably just being overly dramatic. Especially that part about the red raincoat. Most people use an umbrella when it's raining. That's true. Mishida's right. It's possible that the raincoat was a sign for whoever she was waiting for, but... Hardly anyone comes down this street. It doesn't really fit. Is that all you have to tell us? Then hurry up and go home. Um, so I really can't come with you? I worked really hard, you know. Apparently Mo really wants to come along. Mo, the last time a girl went with me, um, I had to use the Markiplier sensor, so you know. I do feel bad. She worked and got us that information, just so she can investigate with us. But, sorry, but you shouldn't be here. There have already been two victims. We can't get you wrapped up in this too. Oh, okay. I understand. Mo nods. I guess she's already over it. She's gonna sneak in. I can feel it. She's gonna sneak in. You better tell me all about it later, and be careful. She sounds worried about me. She disappears around the street corner. A siren echoes on the wind, an unnatural howl in the distance. I look up at Masquerade looming before us. What in the hell happened inside the hunk of concrete? There's always a tragic cause to the birth of a spirit. Red Riding Hood must be the same. But I can't watch my friends die. I slowly step forward, trying- I, I gotta rearrange my- my feeties. I slowly step forward, trying to escape from the unease that's threatening to engulf me. It's not right for the dead to meddle with the living. Mishida mutters beside me. Is that a personal creed? Nah, just what I think. Mishida clicks his tongue. Okay. Alright, Mishida. I- are we- are you my- is this- Final boss, you're coming with me? Hey. As I step into the lobby, Mashita stops in front of me. What's wrong? What a fantastic job you've done here. Huh? What are you talking about? Look. Oh. What? The lobby looks completely different. The room is covered in white. No, it wasn't like this yesterday thought so. These are webs? Mashita touches- Mashita, maybe you shouldn't touch things. Mashita touches one of the floating threads. Looks like she upped the ante. Bring it. Time to make our appointment with our lady friend. Just then, the groan of the elevator moving echoes. Did the elevator just come back to the first floor? That mean, someone's already here. Did you see which floor it came from? No, I wasn't looking. Though I feel like it took a while between when I heard the noise and its arrival. I'm betting it's one of the upper floors. Maybe the fourth or fifth. Yesterday we got the elevator working and managed to get to the fourth floor. But because of what happened to Banshee, we weren't able to investigate any higher. Okay. Let's start on the fourth floor. Okay. Oh. Okay, here we go. All right, fourth floor, let's go. 
Mashida, you ready? Here's an image. This is the masquerade wife, but what one? It's a picture of a masked girl running down a trail. So that would mean it would have to go before two, because two is the woman meeting a man. Okay, okay. Let's let's go in this room. What's in it? What's in it? Um, air conditioner. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay, the mask. I pick up the mask and find a talisman. Oh, we don't need a talisman. We just have to pog. Oh, hello, Gloomy. Thank you for stopping on by. I did. Were you just lurking? I'm so sorry if you talked in stream and I did not greet you. I am so sorry. Oh, just wanted to say that before I go rest. Okay, alrighty. <laughs> well, have a good rest, Gloomy. Thank you for stopping on by. Mm, I did not see that. <laughs> I've been lurking. Oh, okay, alrighty. Lurking is poggers. There's a folding table and chair stored away. They're too big to carry around. Okay, we're gonna go to the bathroom. Some kind of slime? It's stuck to the mirror, so my reflection is hard to see. I turn it upside down and shake it. A wad of paper falls. Oh. Oh, it's a talisman. That's fine. We'll take it. These are brand new spider webs. Was this well web built last night? Okay. Now even a perfectly normal spider. Webs are starting to look eerie. Well, Okay, okay, um, let, let's leave, let's leave, Mashita. Let's, um, this room. Let's, let's see, what's- Mashita. <laughs> I hear a faint laugh. I don't hear anything more coming from it. I feel like the mask is staring at me. I take it down to examine it, but it's just the mask. It still feels like it's staring at me, though. Swear to God. Mashita, you watch that mask. Ooh, what's in here? I really don't want to do this, but I think I need to check it out. I shut my eyes and stick my fingers down the drain. Oh, no. I touch something hard. Something cylindrical is stuck down there. Sadly, my fingers don't seem to be able to reach it. Something's in there. It's often a prime location to hide incriminating objects. It's likely an important piece of evidence. We should get it. With what? What is... How can I get it? Hmm. There must be something I'm missing. Maybe I look at it. <laughs> I need something... Small. There's dark red water in the bathtub. My nose rebels at the stench of iron. Okay, we we will come back to this bathroom. We will come back. We will come back. To the fifth floor. I went the wrong way. I went the wrong way. Okay. 
All right, Mishita, floor five. What could be on floor five? Okay, let's go. Oh, there's another picture. Masquerade wife. Okay. So it would have to be four, two, one, five. That would have to be um, the combination. Because it would have been a little girl, woman meets a man, gets married, has a child, old lady. Okay. But there... I open the door and check the switchboard, but nothing looks broken at first glance. What do you mean it's locked? I take the emergency key ring to check if there's any keys. Oh. Okay. Okay. Hey, shine the light inside. Hey, Mashita, do you just want to walk out of here with me? You know, we, we didn't see anything. We, we can look elsewhere. It's fine. A body has finally turned up. Let's check it out. How about no? Right. Whoever groaned? Stop that. There's a Oh, it's a skeleton. That's fine. It's not alive. There's a skeleton left hanging in the restraints. Okay, that's fine. When I touch it, something flake flakes off. It looks like traces of... Oh. I think you need some moisturizer. Don't worry, my dude. I have Vaseline for you. The corpse is almost a complete skeleton. Small structure, but based on the thickness of the bones, it's likely an adult male. Considering how dried it is, I'd say it's been here for about a year. Oh god, it's the owner, isn't it? The problem is the cause of death. Mashita meticulously searches the corpse, then finally shakes his head. I just can't tell. Was he strangled by spider webs? Quit joking around. A joke, huh? It'd be great if that's what this all was. Still, the skeleton. He must have been in pain when he died. His face is his face is all twisted. If it was an adult man, then he was likely a guest here. No matter how hard I try to sympathize, I just can't. Hey, look at this. Mashita suddenly tosses me something. I found it earlier. It belonged to this guy. It still has some fuel in it. Keep it in your bag or something. Oh yeah. Oh, yes, we got a lighter. We are... Just a coffin. I open the lid of the coffin. I find a book among the junk in there. A, mo a monster encyclopedia? Oh, that... Oh, I, I like this book. <laughs> It's a book about different monsters from around Japan and their associated legends. Mashita flips through the book. Huh. So the spider monster originally kills people by drowning them in water? Really? Yeah, that sounds right. I remember reading a legend like that in one of those books piled on my desk at Kujo Mansion. It usually targets woodcutters or hunters, but they're always saved at the last minute. Even re every region has a story like that. Saved? How? They use a tree stump. And the spider takes it instead. Hang on. Spider vibrations? And a tree stump? We got that donkey's head. Oh, I see now, I see. Then the protagonist escapes. Huh, I don't get it at all. There's no point in complaining about folklore. 
In any case, this will make for a great reference. Take it with you. Okay, we're gonna leave you here, dude. I'm, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I open the lid of the trash can to look inside. There's a large clump of hair inside as well as some paper waste. Resisting the urge to scream, I se securely close the lid and chuck the trash can back to where it was. Alright, cabinet. I open the door and rummage in around inside. A bent hang- a bent hanger! We can use this for the other switchboard. I did not flush that. Okay, Mashita. I have an idea. I have an idea. The switchboard was right here. What do you mean? No. I use the bent. I know what we're using. Yeah. What? What do you mean? Yeah, it's locked. There's a hanger. Open it. <laughs> like. We looked at him. Maybe I have to look at him? Spider webs wrap around its entire body, making it look fake at first, but Mashita says it's the corpse of an adult male. Oh, well, okay. I thought I could light it up. Okay, um, oops. So there's nothing on the fifth floor, so we... We need to go back to, like, the fourth floor, I think. But there wasn't anything on the fourth floor. Did I miss something in the bathroom? Give me that. Nothing, nothing. Nothing. Okay. Oh shit, not the elevator. No, yes, the elevator. I forgot, I can't use the stairs for four and five. Okay, fourth floor. All right, let's let's go, Machida. Um, what's on this floor? What is on this floor? What is here? Oh, did we look at this? I pull open the drawer and find a note, a notebook, mask, mask guest room. Oh, what's that? A guest book provided by the hotel. Guests write about their experiences in it. I glance through the pages. This guest book entries are completely different from all the other ones. It covers a number of horrific topics such as devil worship and different types of torture. Every page is crammed with stuff like that. It's impossible to tell which ones are delusions and which ones actually took place. The only thing I can say for sure is that it's surging with a twisted, single-minded appetite. I silently hand over the guest book. Mashita skims through it, then smirks. Huh, that's quite the hobby. The handwriting differs by page. This was written by several guests. I find that hard to believe. I sincerely doubt there are so many people in the world who would have such a unique hobby. Oh, well, d don't say that. They're like moths drawn to a flame. You wouldn't even know 
to look at them. The pieces are finally coming together. Seems this ho hotel offered a special service for its perverted guests. You mean the kind of stuff written in that guest book? Yeah, the kids working that part-time job were probably a part of it too. Guaranteed their safety and complete coffee. Guaranteed their safety and complete confidentiality, of course. After all, the one who sold his soul was probably most n nervous about it. So that's why the fifth floor has a room like that. I can't stop shaking at the realization that such things actually happen in this world. We are super naive for being a person in their late 20s to 30s. This character is very naive. Still, these people have quite the imagination. Mashida mutters sarcastically as he casually leaps through the pages, then he stops. Hey, this phrase, do you know what it means? The phrase Mashida's pointing at is... Jorogumo's punishment? I don't know who that is. Jorogumo, huh? It's a spider monster from Japanese folklore that can shapeshift into a beautiful woman. Ah, so you do know about it. Thanks for the info dump. It wasn't an info dump. I ignore the hint of scar sarcasm in his voice and read the rest of the page. Duragumo's punishment is a recreation of a certain urban legend. You capture the largest spider you can find. A wild one would be, maybe I need, wait, it's a ritual. I have to write this down. Large, spitter, wild, okay. Sharpen the sacrifice's senses with drugs. Oh! The censored image. It's making sense now, guys. Sharpen the sacrifice's senses with drugs and use a mouth spectrum to keep their mouth open. Okay. Okay. Drugs. Um. Then throw the spider into their mouth. Yep. 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 If they manage to swallow it, they're innocent. If they don't, or the spider escapes, they're guilty. That's kind of a messed up, um, punishment it's a witch trial meant to judge truth from lie oh if i get a sacrifice that needs punishing i'd like to try it out immediately oh well it sounds like you do it can't be that what's written here was actually did someone actually do this who knows Hey, calm down. Take a deep breath. Yeah, it's okay. I'm calm. I doubt Mashita believes me. It's obvious that I'm totally rattled. Don't forget, Bean. We can't die here. Of course, I know that. I try to keep my reply as steady as possible, but my hands keep shaking as I put the guest book in my bag. Okay. Okay. Inter interesting. Okay. 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 Huh. Hmm. Okay. I think we got everything in here. Interesting. Interesting. So I... I kind of maybe understand why it might have got that AO rating if they kept it in. Since the person, I'm assuming, the person that was in the image was that girl who was going to rat everyone out. So I, th I think it's starting to all make sense. Hang on, hang on, hang on. 
There was something in the sink. You know what? An idea hits me and I take out the bent hanger. I should be able to bend this into any shape I want. I bend it into one straight wire so it fits down the drain. I stick it in the pipe and move it up and down. I hear the sound of dirty water being dislodged and hit something hard. There it is, the key, the key! Deluxe suite. That'll come in handy. Good thing it wasn't washed down the drain. Yeah. There are sticky white threads wrapped around this key too. It seems like they stopped... Sorry. It seems like they stopped it from falling all the way down the pipe. Alright, Mashita. Alright. Alright, Mashita. Room 502. Let's go. What is in room 502? All right. All right. What's in here? Yeah, this looks more filled out. I go to lift up the wooden horse. When I do, I notice something catch on the light. I pick it up and discover it's a metal tool? It's a... Yeah. The mouth speculum. It's usually used for medical purposes, but some maniacs use them for other things. Huh. Just as I'm replying to Mishida, a white light flashes before my eyes and I black out. I hear someone sobbing. My eyes should be open, but everything is pitch black. I shake my head desperately and try to look around. A horrible image flows in my mind. What is this? A young girl is blindfolded and restrained. Her mouth is being forced open with that tool. Her breathing is ragged. She must have been given a drug of some kind. Let us commence the judgment. A man speaks theatrically behind me. The court has decided to give the accursed a fair trial and will be judged by her crimes. The trial will now begin. Wait a minute, I thought this was censored! I shall put the spider in the accused's mouth, and if it crawls out, she's guilty. If she can swallow it, she's innocent. Upon hearing that, the girl starts jerking around frantically, her movements haphazard. Help me, sir. Oh, God. She desperately cries for help. The CG is only censored on the Switch version? Really? Why is it censored on the Switch version? If... I don't understand why it would be censored on one system, but not the rest. Her words are garbled from fear or the drug. <laughs> I hear men jeering. That I have no clue. Then a Moran- A Moran? A man releases a giant spider. Okay. Into the girl's mouth. Yeah, that, so Nintendo does have like a lot of younger audiences. And this is being done to a minor, so maybe that's why. Yeah! Now it's making some sense. Hey, get a hold of yourself. Bean, can you see me? The spider. Get it. Get it! Idiot, calm down. Ugh. With a slug to the jaw, I finally return to my senses. That's right. I'm in a room at Masquerade. Then my vision... I just saw... Wh what did I just see? I... I went somewhere. <laughs> you haven't gone anywhere. You just fell on the floor... <coughs> and started writhering. I feel like I've woken up from a long dream. I 
can't believe that was a hallucination. You finally calmed down? Yeah, I'm fine now. I wipe sweat off my forehead and swallow. That girl who was restrained, was that Esco? Oh, no worries, Antares. Lurking is poggers. I thought you were gonna say fell onto the floor and started rizzing! <laughs> if that's so, then... She was unable to go to the police because she was caught by the people here. What's in here? A book? Demon? Okay. Okay. I guess the guests here are interested in stuff like this. Okay, but why was I given it? Why was I given it? Hang on. Demon, demon, demon. From Western folklore. Okay. Interesting. Western folklore. Alright, Mashita, we're going to the bathroom. I swear to God, if someone's in there. Oh, thank God. What do we have? I check through all the bottles on the shelf. Bath salts, insect repelling cream. Okay, we're gonna slather ourselves with the insect repelling cream. And then we're just gonna go to town. Tub is covered in dents and scratches. Too many from for it to be a natural wear. Going by the appearance of the room, horrible things probably happened in here too. Jesus. Mashita, let's get out of here. Okay. I hear footsteps as I step into the hallway. I turn in the direction of the noise to see... You. What are you doing here? You're not supposed to be here. No. 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 The standoff. It is gonna be a standoff. <laughs> True. Cho Nagashima is standing there. Mashida said he ran into him at the hospital, but I can't believe you came. Cho, what's the matter? I take a step towards him, but Mashida stops me. Wait, something's not right. I know, technically he's dead. I know something's not right, Mashita. We both know. <laughs> that you was so personal. Listen, this man, this man has destroyed. This man. I look closely at Sho's face. No, it couldn't be. His face is unnaturally stiff. Suddenly, he begins yelling angrily. Okay, he's not taking his clothes off, though, so I guess that's okay. I was looking for you this whole time. I'm going to kill you! Oh! Because I killed him. He's going to kill me now. Okay. Okay. Excuse me? He raises a metal bat he was hiding and moves in to attack. Oh. Okay. Get back, Bean. Mashita yells, urging me to escape. But we're in a hallway with closed walls. Hmm. This, this seems a bit... <laughs> It seems a bit too spot on that he's the one attacking me. What should I do? Punch him in the face. 
What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Duck and dodge. Run to my right. Run to my left. That looks like that's on his right side. So if I run left, I should get away from him, right? That's right. Run left. I quickly dodge to the left. Hey, you're not getting away. Shows bat alters course in a flash and heads straight for me. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh. But the tip of the bat hits the wall and narrowly misses me. Jesus. He straightens only to swing his bat again. Jesus, shit, yeah, shit. I have my hands full with... I have my hands full with just trying to get away. There's no way I'll be able to restrain him. But if shows like Hero and is infected with the same mysterious poison, we have to restrain him or his life. What if I touch him? When I touched Hero, she got all calm and stuff. What if I touch him? I can't do this alone. What do I do? Okay, I die. Those deranged eyes burn a hole in me. Punch him, tackle him. Okay, these aren't gonna help him because he has a bat. That's gonna hit me. Draw his attention? Draw his attention. Maybe Mashida can grab him. Oh shit, maybe he hit me. If my chances are thin, no matter what I do, then my only choice is to draw his attention. Huh? Cho hesitates for a moment, confused. But a second later, Mashida, full Nelson. You dumb idiot. You don't know when to give up, old man. Metal bat flashes above his head. Then... You're the idiot. <laughs> Mashida suddenly appears next to him and throws a direct punch in it. Oh, you're not gonna put him in a full Nelson. Okay. That's fine, Mashida, I guess. Okay, well, um, Sho, you, you tried your best. I lived. Be the only reason I lived was because Mashida was there. Sho tumbles to the ground. As he falls, his bat flies through the air and... Unluckily for me, it collides to the side of my head and I collapse with a painful yelp. He still gets one in on me. Dumbass. Cursing, Mashita quickly grabs Sho's arm and completely restrains him. As Mashita puts his weight on him, Sho groans painfully. Finally, he faints. Hey, Bean, you okay? I just got hit in the head with a bat. Do you think I'm okay? Yeah, <laughs> Yeah, it just grazed me. I sit up and gently shake my head back and forth. Thankfully, everything seems to be fine. For now. Give it a few days. Then give me a hand. We need to carry him out of here. He's probably like the others now. We better hurry. To think Sho would end up as the third victim. I managed to make myself stand, but... My spirits have dropped down to my feet. It's still sprinkling outside. We drag Sho out of the hotel. We finally have a chance to catch our breaths. We'll call off the investigation for today. Yeah. Banshee and Hero flash before my eyes, but Shu's safety should come first. Let's go ahead and bring him to the hospital. I'll go get the car. Good idea. Yours is better for moving sick people around. I take out the car keys and stand up. But just as I do... A piercing pain runs through the side of my head and I fall back to my knees. Bean? It's just a headache. I thought it had gone away, so why? You just got hit there. Then just rest there. But show. You're injured too, so take it easy. I'll take Nagashima in my car. You wait here until I get back, okay? Lay in the street while it's raining, Bean. Okay, thanks, Mishida. I'll come straight back after I drop him off. 
Sorry. Show's in your hands now. Mashita collects Show and disappears as I'm laying on the cold hard ground. The soft pitter patter of rain criminates the area. The sound of the rain seems to make this place even quieter somehow. Then I notice something. No, we don't. The noises aren't the only thing that vanished. The pain, it's gone. The intense headache has faded, like it never was. This happened to me twice before. Hold on. Now I'm suspicious. I think back on the times when I had a headache. The first is when I went into Masquerade with Damon and Banshee. Back then, I'm pretty sure I wanted to keep everyone together, but then I had a headache and Banshee often disappeared. My next headache came the following morning. I was trying to go see Hero and Banshee, but in the end, I was unable to. Then just now, I was going to the hospital with Sho and Mashida. I gaze at the entrance to Masquerade. This spirit is trying to keep me apart from everyone. You're the only one I want to see. Yup. That's okay. Interesting. That's what Red Riding Hood said. I get it, you... I stare at the hotel as if I can see through doors. I feel like I can see a red figure inside. One rainy night, a girl stood there, wearing a red raincoat. You're still waiting, even now, for the one you respect so much. The headache always attacked when I was trying to stick with other people. If I stop trying and stay by myself, like I am now, then it'll vanish like it was never there. I get it. Hero, Banshee, and now Show. I've gotten my friends all caught up in this. That's right. It's all my fault again. I mean, technically, it's not your fault because you weren't the sensei. She just thinks you are. I'll come alone. So, do what you will. Maybe don't do what you will, please. Hello? Okay. I go back into Masquerade. Sensei. Sensei, okay. A voice calls from the darkness as if it was waiting for me. <laughs> what are you telling me to do? You see the red thread of fate, right? Not between us. The top floor in the room of masks. The top floor. The sixth floor was listed on the guide, but it was impossible to reach. <laughs> I'll be waiting. Red Riding Hood's figure melts silently into the elevator. As she does, the elevator's floor displays begin blinking on and off erratically. The combination- the combination! What? What's the combination? You know it. Don't you, sir? Her voice reverberates throughout the elevator. So she's telling me to go to her? But this combination... The photos. The photos! Where's- where's my sticky note? I, I have it. I think I have it. Alright. So we have... Okay. So we have... Uh-huh. The spirit vanished into the elevator. I must be able to use the elevator to get to the top floor then. And the floor display began to blink on and off erratically. Is that some kind of hint? And the word she used, combination. I stare at the elevator button. Maybe I'm supposed to push these in a certain combination? Yep. 
If I press the floor buttons in a cer certain order, I might be able to get to the sixth floor. But what's the order? I've got no idea. I have an idea. I've got to think. There has to have been a clue somewhere inside the masquerade. I have it. I have it. I have it. I got this. We have... Four... For the child. We have two for the woman meeting the man. We have one... For marriage. The first floor was the marriage one. The wedding gown. Fifth was the baby. Three was the old lady. Was that it? Was that it? I'm assuming that's it. I need a stretch, hang on. All right. The elevator door opens and... A musty stench greets me. That's disgusting, but that's not all. This smell, it's blood. Sensei, okay. Red Riding Hood's voice drifts on the wind. <laughs> I've been waiting for you. No, I'm... I doubt my words will reach her. But I feel like I have to say it. I'm not the one you respect. I'm not the one you're waiting for. Liar. You, you always lie. I'm not lying. I'm... Really not. A scream splits the night. It's the same one I heard during the spider torture. Stop. Stop this. This won't accomplish anything. That's why, this time, I'm going to test you. Tell me the truth. Oh, oh, I don't like that sound. Hello? Oh, shit. Countless spiders fly out of the darkness and start crawling all over my body. Disgusting. A swarm of spiders keep coming. Insecticide, spring, no, vibrator, vibrator. I take the massage, <laughs> I take it out of my bag and hold it against my body and hit the switch. This worked before. The spiders start acting strangely. They all scramble away. Oh, thank God. Red Riding Hood lets out a gutsy sigh. Glittering white threads fly through the room from her mouth. She's trying to use her spider silk? Bath silk. No, 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 the head, the head. This was the folklore, the log. I hold the horse's head over mine as protection. Strangely enough, the threads seem drawn to it and only wrap around the horse's head. Oh, shit. No! Good shit. Okay. Is she getting closer? Sir? Who's in the wrong? I only did what was right. Um, villains go to hell, divine punishment will come. No, it, it's for the law. Mm -hmm. 
Red Riding Hood is staring at me. Sir, come with me. The only thing that matters is your life. No, 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 it, it's fine. Everyone has a family, life isn't that cheap. How do you know a person's worth? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's not working. Red Riding Hood screams again. Then her maddening eyes glare at me. Well, that was probably not it, guys. <laughs> Oh, she's getting closer. Sir, I... How do I look to you? Huh? Extremely attractive? No. You're like a little sister? No. We met too late. What do you like about me? Your beauty, your righteousness. She's honest. You're pretty honest, right? Thank you. Sir. Let's. Red Riding Hood's figure wavers then. She just flung herself out the damn window. I should go after that, you know. Um, we can't have a demon. I think I fucked up. I think I fucked up. I really think I fucked up. Mmm. Well. Did she just jump? The bustling city can be heard out the window. I wipe my sweaty brow with my shirt sleeve. Something touches my cheek. Oh, Jesus. Something's floating in the darkness. A thread? As I follow it with my eyes, I realize that it's wrapped around my wrist. What? Oh, shit! She's taking me with her! Something yanks me towards the window. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, no. I brace my legs and try to resist. I fucked up. But all in vain. I'm going out the window. Oh, Christ. I'm thrown out into the city and I- Oh, Christ. I scream as I plummet. Oh, I'm- Oh, I died. Oh, I died. No. I should be rushing towards the ground. I am, aren't I? Just as I give up all hope. Shut up. No. 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 How close is that hospital? And how does he know the combination? I... What? They... 
they are really making you try to like Mashita. Like, what is this? What is this? Also, beautiful CG, beautiful artwork. Love it. Also, we I think we have the same color. Oh, I have like more of a purplish um highlight thingy. But you know what? It's kind of the same. It's kind of the same. But yeah, um, excuse me. A strong jolt makes me look up. A man struggles to hold my arm, his teeth gritting with effort. Dude, this woman was gonna toss me out the window with her. You stupid idiot. Mashita? Shut up and give me your other arm. Dude, it's tied with spider web. Hurry up. Grab onto me. Right. He desperately tries to pull me up, and after what feels like an eternity of struggling, I make it over the ledge and tumble safely back inside the hotel. The only sound that can be heard is our gasps for breath as we sit in the darkness. Why did you ignore my orders? Mishida spits words out between wheezes. I mean... I thought I could exercise her. Clearly, that didn't work. She jumped out the window and then she was gonna take me with her. Sorry. This isn't the time to be making excuses. I might be better, better off shutting up. Idiot. Try putting yourself in my shoes. He probably- He probably just saw me flying out the window and he's like, what the fuck? What a thing to come back to. Just like one of the people that you um, had a very traumatic event with, multiple traumatic events with, just flying out of a window. Like, how much did he see? Like, did he see her and like her jumping out the window? Or is it just the end of me just going? Is she gone? I. I didn't exercise her. She just jumped out the window. I I don't know. The window. I'm still trembling as I point to the broken window. She threw herself out of it. She might have been trying to take me with her. Uh, yeah. What, what, what else were you thinking? No, not you. Sensei. That sir person. Well, I kept telling her he's not me. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Can you walk? Then let's go. Mashita slowly stands and looks at me. Nicely done. That wasn't bad work for an amateur like you. Even though I almost flew out the window? It stopped raining. The cool wind on my cheek hits, hints at autumn. I'm going to drop by and see Damon. I'd like to see how the others are doing. Yeah. What? Hand me the car key. No, I can drive. Have you completely gone mad? Look at your hands. I glance down at them, only to suddenly realize they're still shaking. You just face down a spirit. You can't drive in that condition. I mean, can you drive in your condition? You just pulled me out of a window or through a window into a... You, you know what I'm saying. The choice made for me. I, took, I take the key out of my pocket and toss it to Mashita, And then it falls down into the manhole below us. And therefore, I lost the only key to my car. And then I cry because I can't get another car. Hello, Wolf. Welcome, welcome. The corner parking lot. Right. You should rest here. In the streets when it's raining. Mashita, do you know what happened last time? I ran off into the hotel again. His figure melts into the darkness. As I watch him go, I notice something... I notice something down on the wet asphalt... Oh god, it's her. It's her. 
It's her. Oh, it's a spider. A dead spider. Stomp on it. Make sure. It lay there, all legs curled up, almost as if... It was desperately trying to hold on to something. That's her, isn't it? Oh, that is so sad. Are you satisfied now? Then let's go home. I gently pick... I gently pick the spider up. Okay, well, um... <laughs> Ooh, someone's a little brave. I wrap it in my handkerchief. Oh. I wrap it in my handkerchief and put it in my pocket. God, I hope I don't sit down and, like, forget about it. Car ride back is a blur. I sat and let Mashita's voice wash over me like, why is it, why does he get the good jazzy music? How dare he? I sat and let Mashita's voice wash over me like background radio noise. I remember wondering if Red Riding Hood might have stolen a part of my soul. Before the investigation today, Mo tipped us off on the testimony, remember? That helped me connect the dots. I realized the teacher was wrapped up in the case. A teacher from a school nearby the hotel was arrested for breaking the law. That's... What does that have to do with anything? There was an odd part in Eiko's testimony. They were scared they'd be reported, but nothing ever happened. In other words, Esko never went to the police after tattling to the teacher. Or maybe she couldn't go. I frown as I try to put the pieces together. I think I'm too spaced out as it's not making sense. This, pretty much the teacher was a part of the crime syndicate group and he doesn't want that stuff to get out. I wonder if the teacher was the one who had like the thought of doing that spider or Joromo's, Joromura, that spider trial thing. I bet you that was him. And she couldn't see him! She had a blindfold on, and she was drugged. The fact that she held on... You'd never make it as a detective. Can he just drop that? I don't plan on becoming one anyways. There's only one possible answer. This Sir person, Esco trusted so deeply, was one of Masquerade's customers. What? I feel like I've been hit up on the side of the head. And not with a pillow, more like a lead pipe. Technically, it was a metal bat, but okay. The one she sought salvation from ended up being a criminal. Mm-hmm, yep, see, I, I knew this. The definition of irony. Rashida glances out the window and chuckles dryly. The bitter sound fits both our moods. It was the teacher, Enmura, the one mentioned in Eiko's testimony. I saw a photo of him. He was thin, tall... The type popular with students. Well, I suppose. He glances back at me through the window. You might say he wasn't too unlike you. Are you calling me a criminal? Mashita suddenly tosses a file at me. Those are the research results. Look them over if you want to know more. Results? I flip through the thick bundle of paper. They're a set of very well-organized documents. It would have taken a lot of time to gather this amount of information. Then it hits me. Wait a second. Mashida just said that he connected the dots with the help of Mo's testimony. Which means he knew all of this before we started our investigation tonight. Ooh, Mashida. You knew everything. I just said I put it all together when I heard the testimony. But I decided not to tell you just in case. 
I almost flew out the damn window. You, you, you couldn't let me know? Let me in on the little secret? You just had to tee hee hee. Mishida? Oh, you were just starting to get points with me when you saved me? Oh. <laughs> Why? If I had known, I could have. What would you have done? His tone turns mocking as he laughs! You would have just sympathized too much and let down your guard. You should be grateful I didn't. Mashita leaves me with the research file and heads to Damon's hospital. Now that I'm alone, I can't keep my three hospitalized friends out of my mind. But there's nothing I can do for them right now. I've done everything I can. Bolster myself with that information. I spread Mashita's documents on the table. Can we take the spider out of our pocket and bury it, please? I'm exhausted, but I feel like I need to go through them today. Who in the world was Red Riding Hood? If Mashita was right, the truth should be right in front of me. Yeah, it's... it's Esco. Um... So I don't want to save it, because there's two endings. There's a good ending and a bad ending, like all the other ones, so I'm not going to save it. I'll just... Oh, I, I, I could save it. I'll save it down here. Wait, hang on. Make sure I'm saving it in the right spot. Hang on. Let, let's look at the file. That's not... Yes, this is my file. Hang on. Breakers. Esco. Yeah, it has to be Esco. Esco tattled to her homeroom teacher, Enmura, about the job is what started it all. Enmura proposed to Esco that they gather evidence first. And they arranged to meet at Masquerade that night, but the only thing waiting for Esco there was utter betrayal by the teacher she was in love with. It turned out Enmura himself was one of the Masquerade customers. No one knows what exactly happened to Esco. She was found wandering the streets in her red raincoat and immediately admitted to a facility. Unfortunately, her mental state was too far gone already. She threw herself from the sixth floor window of the hospital. The night she died was cold and rainy, just like today. The report has information on Enmura as well. When he was arrested for other illegal activities, he ended up testifying about masquerade as well. Having your partner wear all red was code that you were planning to use the deluxe suite of the hotel. That could be the reason Esco wore the red raincoat that night. Not long after that, Enmura apparent Good. But also, no. He should be- He should suffer for what he did. How dare he? And so the case surrounding Masquerade quietly comes to the end, leaving an invisible scar on that dark street. The lives lost there will never return, and neither will their trampled dignity. Oh, we got the good end. The only thing that saves that disaster is that my friends survived. 
Hero, Banshee, and Sho all regained consciousness after that. They got out of it with no lasting symptoms and are recovered enough to go back to their lives. Damon concluded that the affliction inhabited the soul very much like the mark. In that case, maybe Red Riding Hood was finally released from that horrible nightmare. Just like the spirits that gave people the mark. If anything good came about because of this case, if anything good came about because of this case, then it would be it. A week later? Who is knocking on my door? Oh. <sighs> Mashida. It's always you. Mashida suddenly shows up on my doorstep, and then I shut the door in his face. Congrats on saving everyone. Who didn't stab... It's still early. He can still do it. It could be like, oh, show's coming over, and then he gets ran over or something. It's not over yet until I see the credits. Before I even open my mouth, he pulls out an envelope and tosses it to the table. I'm here to deliver this. This is your reward. Take it and get out of here. I didn't do it because I wanted a reward. How should I know? The client asked me to do this. That's all. I did my job and handed it over. The rest is in your hands. Damn, what a pain. Mishida turns and curses under his breath, but I can still hear everything he says. That's all you came for? No, there's one more thing, and my phone's about to die. <laughs> I learned something from this past case. What's that? Something about you. You're suited for this work after all. That again? Oh, sorry, but I'm done. No more. Just hear me out. There have been more mysterious cases like masquerades popping up all over the place. I thought it might be Mark-related, but it seems like I was wrong. He stops for a moment, then mutters. Monsters Parade? I don't know what the Monsters Parade is, but I cannot pronounce that. Hayaki Yagyo? I slaughtered that. I'm so sorry, guys. Have you heard anything about it? I, I know some information about it. Yeah, sure, in ghost stories. But he's clearly asking about something that's happening in the real world. No, I haven't. That's so. I figured you, of all people. Forget it. First he asks me, then he tells me to forget it. He only cares about his own bottom line. She... She? Mashida glances briefly at the sofa in the corner of the room. Oh. She. Might have known something. Well, it, it sounds like you want Mary back, Mashida. Hmm, is this what I'm getting? So you want my help? The old lady, Yasaoka, seems to think you could do some good. I do too. That's all I wanted to say. No, wait. I have one last piece of advice. Sure, what is it? What is it? Quit doing stuff like that. Like what? You picked up that dead spider, didn't you? First off, how did you know there was a dead spider there? Second off, how did you know I took it with me? You saw. Just out of the corner of my eye. Damn, your eyes are good. That's why darkness follows you. Your ancestors probably had pity on her too. The living and the dead can't coexist. If you try to accept their feelings, you'll just end up getting pulled in. No, like, I'm I'm assuming, it doesn't say in the game, but I'm assuming we, like, buried the little spider to, like, give her some rest. Like, put her soul to rest, is what I'm assuming. Like, no, no, you should put souls to rest. Because they don't want to be here suffering, they just want to... Mashida might be right. But even so... If someone doesn't accept them, they'll stay like that forever. 
Exactly. That's not something I want to bear. Mashida just snorts. The servious? The serviously? Like usual. Give it some thought. Even if you don't want to, the time may come one day. No! I. No, these spirits have tragic events linked to them. If you can release them from this world and away from their pain, that's a good thing. He leaves, closing the door behind him. That marks the end of the case and the end of one chapter in my story. But someday in the future, I can't help but think that door will be thrown open again. Well, good sir, there is Spirit Hunter Deathmark 2 already out. So just kick that door open because it's, it's already here. Now we're at the credits. Now I'm safe. Now I am safe. The gallery has been unlocked. Cool. Yes, save it. Um... When... There. I... Yes, this one. Oh, and it kicks us back to the beginning of the game. Huh. Look at that. Look at that. We did it. And it only took me six and a half hours. Wow. Okay. Well. Six and a half hours. Holy God. I thought this episode was going to be around the same length as the other ones, but... Okay, I also was talking a lot, so that doesn't help. Oh, um, <laughs> I just got an alert on my phone saying there's like liquid in the connector? Huh? The booba incident, oh God, yeah. <laughs> I... Okay, hang on. I have to check the wire, because it said something about liquid, and I don't understand that. Give me a second. Yeah! It gave me a warning! Like, where the fuck can liquid come from? There's no liquid. It's not wet! I don't understand. Um... Is my, hang on, is my phone hot? Maybe my phone's too hot. I don't know. Well, that's not good. How does it even know it's liquid on, I have no clue. I, I've never seen that warning before, but I don't like it. That was not something I wanted to see. <laughs> hang on, let me, I'll Google it. Um. Uh, oh shit, shut the recording off. <laughs> I have to edit this. Uh, what was the warning? Yeah, liquid detection alert on your iPhone. Leave your iPhone in a dry area with some airflow. After at least 30 minutes, try charging. There's a liquid in the connector or under the pins of your- How is there liquid? I was just streaming and nothing happened. <laughs> oh, wait. Hang on, um, no, my house isn't humid. It doesn't feel wet. It doesn't feel wet or anything. I mean, my, it wasn't near me. Like, I'm wondering if it's just the heat. 
But my phone's not that hot. I don't understand that. False positive? Maybe. It's a moisture detector. It can be, tr it's very sensitive and can be triggered by the slightest bit of moisture, even condensation. I mean, I've streamed for longer with my phone. So I don't know why it's acting this way. Yeah, there's no humidity here. No humidity. 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 Holy God, I can't. What are people saying? I'm going to Reddit. Oh my god, it is him. He... I didn't kill him this time, but he's taking it out on my phone. Oh my god. How dare he? Okay, people are saying charging cable. It might- it might be my charging cable. I think my charging cable went to shit. Huh. I'll- I'll have to look more into that. That's kind of scary. I it in a bag of salt and call it a night. I could. <laughs> I'm gonna go with false positive. A reboot will probably fix it. Maybe. I mean, the alert is gone. Like, the moment I unplugged it, it's gone. So that- that was something. <laughs> Joe's just trying to take out my damn phone. That's an odd alert for a faulty cable. I mean, it's an old cable, so it could possibly be for that reason. Um, Is my rage... Hang on, can I not... Hello? All right. Let's see who we can raid into. There are my socials. I'm trying to be more active on them. I'm doing a horrible job, but I'm trying. One day at a time, yeah. There's the raid message. I think what I'm gonna do, I think what I'm gonna do, and we can. All right, what do you guys want to see? Do you want to see a game? Do you want to see ASMR? What would you guys like to see? Because it looks like I have someone playing Resident Evil Village. I have someone doing Fortnite. I have someone doing ASMR, Bioshock. What do we want? I need to sleep, it's 2.30, same, same. I should go to sleep too. Um. Yeah, thank you for stopping on by, Belle, and also helping me with that stupid chess puzzle. Oh my God. I swear half the stream came from that. <laughs> I can't decide. I mean, I think a lot of us are kind of sleepy. Do we just not want to raid? Just so we can all go to bed. Because we don't have to raid. I'm glad we finished out the game. Yeah, I am happy too. I can't wait for um, NG. We'll do that after we do Alone in the Dark. Give my voice a little bit of a rest. And now we'll go pew pew in Alone in the Dark. And they have some puzzles. But yeah, maybe I just won't um, raid. We'll just have a chill, easy. We'll all go to bed. Everyone, you have to go to bed after this. It's late. We all have to go to sleepies. 
Yes, pew pews. Yes, there's guns. I don't think there's melee weapons in Alone in the Dark that I know of. I only see guns. I just woke up though. It's time to go back to bed. <laughs> it's time to sleep. But yeah, I'm gonna head off for the night, for the morning. And um, I will talk to you guys later. So thank you guys so much. Okay, mate. So I was taking notes on my sticky note. I need to throw some of these away. Because if someone finds these, they're going to be like, what the fuck is wrong with this lady? So I'm going to throw these away. And then I'm going to go to bed. So I will talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for stopping on by. I know sometimes my streams get off topic and stuff. So I do apologize for that. But it, it happens. It happens. Hopefully the audio wasn't super loud. But also hopefully the audio wasn't super quiet. <laughs> I, I can never tell with audio. But anyways, okay, I need to get off. And we need to go to sleep. All of us, sleep. I will talk to you later.